All ready to go. Yep. I'm here. Okay, cool. Then something terrifying was happening last time. Oh yeah. No, uh, that's not terrifying. This way comes. So, uh, you performed the ritual that you performed on Elijah Lissandro. However, this time you did not succeed in performing the ritual. It did, however, you did witness its backlash, or the failure for it, as uh, Zandalus died. Mm -hmm. And shortly after, a that yellow vapory mist begins to seep from all of his orifices. And the mist coalesces into the gaunt figure of the nightmarish creature that has haunted you since the beginning of your time, or the time you can remember here in Briarstone Asylum. And he lets out a, a guttural groan as if waking from a sleep himself, but he quickly turns to face all of you menacingly. And he makes it clear that he's going to finish what uh, he started. So I need everybody to roll initiative. What was the last time we rested? Recent. Like, right before that. Yeah, but uh, Nataka, you may not be fully rested. Because you have night terror. So I need you to roll a... We'll see. I knew it, you hate me. <laughs> oh, nice, Fingerum. Yeah, it's pretty good. We'll save, right? Yep, we'll. Okay, so that night you did get some sleep. Oh, thank Frack. Okay. Now, as he emerges, I need everyone to give me a will save. This is a fear effect. Ooh, we'll ooh, see. Ooh, that means you, you mean get a bonus from me. I'm gonna use my uh, solo tactics teamwork ooh. feat and take the best of uh, all the people nearby who are in my party. So I give my bonus to do Sister bonus? and Kudu. Wait, how many bonuses do I get then? Wait, Mantis, what are you doing? No, I am taking the highest of Jane, whatever you guys remember roll. that your aura oh, courage right, right, right. does not function how it does in the book. You do not right. give a plus bonus to fear. Right, but it still has an effect, and I wanted to make sure that it was remembered. <laughs> yes, it reduces fear effects on you by two steps, and everyone else around you by one step, so long as they're in. What? Yeah, but it's within 10 feet, so... Yep. Uh, sorry, the two of you that aren't close enough. I might enough. have saved. I'm on, I'm the fine. fine line, so is Spindrum. Depending on his level, Okay, I let's guess. see. Everyone rolled really well. 
good. <laughs> We're done with his shit. I apologize to your battle music, but I have better battle music for Jane. <laughs> I can't help it, Diary okay. of Jane just fits. Alright, so, uh, as you guys all are, Cormac, it is your turn. You're first up. He'll cast uh, Iron Skin on himself. It gives him a plus four natural armor bonus. Okay. Is that all you do? And he will pull out his greatsword and move up. Alright. Kudu, it's your turn. Uh, just one second, resetting my bars. Um, there we go. Um, is he standing or floating? He's standing at the moment. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and I'm gonna cast Slick underneath him. Um, I'll do... Oops. Uh, whatever. Apparently I'm doing nexus now. Um, I'll do it like that. Okay. Unfortunately, he saves. Unfortunately! Okay. Um, I will also, I don't feel like I'm in his range to hit, and I guess if I am, then I'll find out. But I'm gonna jump up onto this table back here. I think that's okay. a bookshelf. Oh, uh... That goes to the sea. Yeah, that, those are bookshelf. Okay, then I won't do that. I'll move over here. <laughs> you have a climb feed, though. You could do it. I don't, I don't want to climb. climb. Up on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sister Marie. Uh, looks like uh, I'm gonna make an assumption that this guy's probably evil. I'm gonna cast protection from evil on myself, and I'll move over here. Okay. Tell my puppy to stay put. Stay. He flies up onto the table. His feet leave oh. the ground. And he attacks Jane. And he uh, he yells that this time you will not survive. And as he attacks, I need everyone to make another will save. This is a fear effect. Same thing as before. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shoot! Yep, yeah, we're... Probably both so, Jane, uh, because you have your, uh, whatchamacallit, your, your aura of courage, you are suffering no ill effects. You save, and you're fine. You are steadfast uh, in his frightening presence. Uh, Sister Maria and Fingrim, Sister Maria, you are actually only spooked by him. That's a minus two to fear effects, but nothing else. Fingrim, you are shaken. Uh, Kudu and Cormac, however, you are frightened. Well, alright, let me know when it's over. Yep. <laughs> Good thing I don't I drop. I believe anything. I'm within ten feet of Jane, so I am not spooked. No, you you are spooked. You're spooked because I'm pretty you're sure 10 feet. that was him. Yeah, lowering you're spooked it already. Because you're within range of her. Okay.
And yes, frightening presence is a long time. Anyway, uh, he's going to attack you, Jane. Let's see it. Let's make a claw attack. Another claw attack. And then his, uh, the tattered rags around him fly at you. Okay, so that's a miss, a hit, and then the tatters hit. Sorry, that should be versus CMD. Oh, uh... Okay. CMD, yeah, that's a hit. Alright, he hits you for six, and you're a grapple. It's his turn. Jane, it's your turn. Jane laughs and says, you're in my world now. So let's see here. That's point blank shot driven by guilt and smiting shot. You have the grapple condition on? No, but I can add that. Um, I get plus four to attack from the driven by guilt, so... Okay, so it gains an additional three points of damage on top of what already is, if it is an outsider with the evil subtype, evil line dragon, or an undead creature. Let me make sure this is all adding up right. So here's grappled. That's a really Your... shitty roll. Yep. Unfortunately, that misses. <sighs> Bingram. I think I have my weapon out because we were just doing this ritual, so no spell combat this round, but that's fine because I don't think I could, I don't want to take the double penalty anyway, I don't think, since I've shaken. Uh, so I'm going to try to shoot a ray of enfeeblement and hope it actually hits. So, <laughs> ray of enfeeblement. Um, figure out what it's going to be, plus two, yeah, range touch attack, plus two, okay. But I'm shooting into melee, so it's going to be a minus two. <laughs> so actually, it's kind of, it's going to kind of rough. Yeah, I'm Ouch. pretty sure that misses. <laughs> that is a miss. All right. Uh, and then I pull my I pull my story out. And that's it. Cormac, uh, you are fight frightened. Unless you have any ability that allows you to act, uh, you must run away from the Tatterman. 
I don't have to move at full speed, do I? Or full double movement? You have to move as far away as you can until you feel that you are safe. You don't have to run, but yes, if you can double move, you would. Pretty sure that's where I'm at. But you can otherwise control your character, and that includes opening doors, making sounds, doing other things. You just cannot... You, you cannot cast spells act normally anything. when near the object of your friend. You can still cast spells, but they have to be spells that'll get you away or to safety. Mm -hmm. Right. If you had Dimension Door, you could Dim Door out of here. Uh, if you had Expeditious Retreat, you could throw that up and then run away, like, plus with plus 60 move speed or whatever. Yeah, that's that's all I could do right now, is just to this door. I only have 20 movement. Yeah. Kudu, you are in the same dilemma here. Okay, um... Wait, are these stores open? Yes, they are. Okay. If nothing stops me in the hall, I'll run into the hall. Okay. Nothing stops you. Alright. I'm gonna... Sister Maria? Put my token inside, though, so hmm. that I can see. Well, we're down a good amount of fighting force. Uh... At you're least you guys succeeded on the first one, because, uh... He's bad. He has a... He has a double fear, basically. Two different effects. So, um... Your two main pillars are gone right? now. No. <laughs> uh, I I don't have spell combat because I'm not a magus. You should do something about that. Yeah, I know, right? Uh. I, I think this guy's a big bad evil guy, so I'm gonna cast magic weapon. I'm gonna five foot step up and be like, hey, let go of my friend. And this doesn't actually have any mechanical effect, but I'm rolling it anyway. Intimidate. No, that's still good. He is not as invulnerable as he was in your nightmare. And it looks like it does actually shake him. I, I, I'm not using the intimidate in that way. That requires a standard action, and I'm using the oh. standard action to cast the spell. You should have used the standard action, because that would have succeeded. Okay, uh, what spell are you cast? Magic weapon. Okay. You move up. Alright, his turn. He is going to try and confirm the grapple on you. At plus five. Oh yes, that succeeds. He is going to deal uh, his claw damage to you automatically. Six points of damage. And I need you to give me a will save. As he almost whispers to you that soon you will be but a dream, and everyone to you a figment. He says, I am your nightmare. Is Derek even there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm... I'm more just... Disappointed, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're not feared. No, 
No, I'd rather be feared. <sighs> he goes on about that, and she just looks at him like, Oh, really? I thought he asked for a will save. Yes, I need you to make a will save. No. Oh. Yeah, that's why I was asking. I was like, wait, what? I'm waiting for it. <laughs> okay, How's that's that? good okay. save. <laughs> You're okay. But, like, as, like, his tattered rags, like, continue to, like, hold on to you, you feel like it's sapping your, your will or trying to. making everything else hazy. Uh, it's your turn. I mean, he's clawed me twice. Good on him. Let's see. Um... Guess I'm gonna try to escape the grapple. Okay. We'll see him be. Or escape artist. Well, my escape artist is. not so good, so. I'll go with the plus seven on CMD. <laughs> or CMB. Alright. Good luck. Roll another 19. Doesn't seem right. Oh, okay. Ooh, you succeed. <laughs> that was a good roll. You're close too. <laughs> hey, you said roll right, nineteen uh, and I missed it by out. one. You get out of the grapple. <laughs> Maybe you can fight uh, this. You still have a move action. Yes, sir. Or a whole move action. Yeah. Um. Hmm. You can take a swift action too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Well. I'm I'm gonna move back and drop an all-chemical cartridge to reload, and just laugh at him and go, "You're really not as intimidating out here as you are in the dream world, hun." Just kind of laughing as I say it, because yeah, he may kill me, but why be afraid anymore? Dr. Sister Maria believes that Jane has gone a little bit insane. Yeah. Finger. It must be those dreams. <laughs> uh, Do you remember that part of the fun of a horror game is actually experiencing fear? Right. But, uh... I don't know. She She's not afraid of him anymore. Well, not right now. He's rolled really well on those will saves. Finger is right, pretty scared. Think, for me... <laughs> For her, it's more of a, okay, I've seen you enough in my dreams, you're just... You're not as scary out here as you are in there. Um, I think Fingram's going to use a swift action to enhance Red Destiny, and then I'm going to... Uh, I gotta do spell combat, I know, but what spell? Uh, I think... As much as I want to do something different, I'm going to do, uh, shield. I'm going to cast shield on myself. Um, and then I'm going to five foot step into a flank, uh, with Sister Maria and try to attack. So... That actually would basically off offset the shaken penalty. 
so um, spell combat minus two, so here goes. Ooh, if that hits, it's a chance for critical. All right, no critical. <laughs> no critical. That's fine. If I'd gotten a crit, I'd have been like, why didn't I use spell combat for an offensive spell? But you know. Uh, whoops, that's actually 10. Sorry, I forgot to put the bonus from spell, or uh, my enhancement bonus. Okay. So, 10 damage with a plus 3 uh, sword. Which might be relevant. If it's, I think plus 3 lets me do cold iron and silver as well. You deal the damage. Alright. And uh, that's my turn. Cormac, you are still frightened and want to move away from him. Well, he no longer has line of sight, so that's something. Are you going to do anything else, or is that your turn? That's my turn. I'm going to stay in sight, even though my guy is like one square over, just so I can see the battle. I don't care. You don't even want to look at him. Right, no, he wants to, he's but there, putting there's his a book in just so he can... In way, in the okay, way right, right, so. okay. He That's just right. wants like, to, he just wants I forgot to see the free. Yeah. He just wants to see the as tokens. As soon as he's yeah. around out of this character. corner, he's out of sight. Gotcha. So, like, yeah. his character oh, yeah. isn't actually where the token detail. is, it's just, there's, there's fog of war, so. <laughs> okay, uh, Kudu, it's your turn. Uh, Kudu's hiding in the hall and contemplating what to do. Okay. Uh, Sister Mar Thou sh shall be smited! And we'll take the Bible down on that. Oh, nope. No, no, you will not. <laughs> you whiff it, like, big time. Nope. Uh, he floats five feet towards Jane. And he's going to attack you. He really doesn't like And Jane he says, that I can reason. smell fear on you. Tough words will not hide weakness. And then if you're still standing, he's going to tatter you. Oh, that might miss. Well, the first one's a miss, the second one's a hit, and the tatter misses. Okay, that's his turn. It's your turn. So I'm down to four. Fun. Uh, did I need to make a will save on that one? No. Okay. Uh, five step. Oh, and one other detail I forgot to mention here. On his turn, you can see his wounds closing. Slightly. It seems like he is well. healing. We uh, give this one another shot, huh? Are you out of uh, lay on hands? No, I'm not, but 1d6 isn't going to do much. It's a swift action to use it on yourself, though. Like, if you're not using your swift True. action for something else, True. you should probably do that. Well, I used the swift action to reload last time. Ah, well, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to step back and take my shot. That'll hit. Same setup as last time. 
And then I'll, I'll do lay on hands. Uh, Fingram, it's your turn. Um, alright. I like that. Spell combat. smiting damage. So, I'm going to use, uh, Chill Touch this time. And then I'm gonna 5 foot step, and do my free attack. So let's see here, I do not have a flank bonus this time, so it's just going to be not very good. But I get to do this twice, so... Miss, second attack. That one maybe hits? That'll hit. Alright. Is it a... it's a normal melee attack? This is a normal melee attack, so it's going to do... Uh, it's this is my s sword damage first. Um... So the sword does 7 damage, then Chill Touch is going to do negative energy damage, which uh, hopefully he's not like immune to or something. Um, I guess if he's undead, instead of taking damage, he has to make a will save or be panicked <laughs> for 1d4 plus 1. But um, assuming he's not undead and he's just like a living creature, uh, he's just going to take 1d6 damage. And, uh... Oh, excuse me. Sneeze. He succeeds at the fortitude save. Okay, no strength damage then. I still have two charges of this. And that's, uh, that's my turn. Alright. Cormac. I move forward. Do you do anything differently? No. I really don't have anything that Do I you have do. anywhere that you kind of want to go? My guy's been heading towards the chapel. Is basically where he's. Okay. Well, the there is the spot. door here. Do you do anything with the door? I guess he'll open it. Okay. He gets shot. By you the open the door. Chapel do you guards. Do anything else? You could say might... something or shout something. He might like s scream or not scream, but like. Shout that, uh, the Tyler man's free! Okay, and you get the attention of, like, a bunch of people. Yeah. Okay. Normally, normally you'd be cautious about frightening all those people, but he's <laughs> scared out of his mind right now. <laughs> oh, maybe it'll be a good thing. Maybe they'll come help us. Yeah. I'm gonna move my... <laughs> My pe my little piece. Or back maybe to the, the table cultists so will be like, Xandalus was right. Kill all the disbelievers. I'm at the door, really. I'm just moving to watch. You know what's weird is that, like, even under his like his stat block and this template that's on him, you would think that he'd be immune to fear, but I can't find it. Just because he can scare people anyway. doesn't mean he can't be scared, too. Yeah, uh, Kudu, it's your turn. Uh, Kudu, like, sits down in the hallway and claps her, uh, hands over her ears after she hears him shouting that. Alright. Uh, Sister Maria, it's your turn. Uh, Sister Maria will, uh... Attempt to smack him again. A little uh, bit disconcerted that uh, it didn't hit last time. Let's try again. That hits. And this does count as cold iron if that means anything. Oh, I'd also like to do a knowledge on this thing if I can. Sure. 
Do you have computer. knowledge dungeoneering? I do. I rolled a one. Ah. Oh. All you know is that you don't think this creature is actually extra planar, you think it's aberrant. I kinda assumed that, but... It's an aberration. Nope. I guess uh, Dr. Sister Maria knows about as much as Mantis does. <laughs> Alright, and uh, before the end of your turn, um, the puppy uh, moves over to Kudu. And uh, it begins to snarl at you. That bastard. Yeah, you want to fight, huh? Is that it, puppy? <laughs> this would actually be like over here, though, somewhere, right? Yeah, I'm further down the like hall down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I just have the token there. So does a 16 you hit you, Kudu? You're not flat-footed. Well, I am prone because I said I sat down. Okay. And um, not flat-footed. Okay. Uh, 16. No, that misses. My water shield blocks okay. it. It tries. It looks like it tries to bite. And he gets. He just gets water in his face. Okay. Uh, I'm tired of answer. What are you doing? He's gonna move five feet and take some attacks on uh, Jane. Here comes a claw. He's got quite the heart on for me. You, you are proving the most resilient to his, uh, what he's designed to do. Yeah, you're like laughing at his face. What else do you think he'd do? <laughs> it's a 21 hit. Give up and walk away. Yeah, that hits. It would have missed versus me. He's gonna end up throwing Oddly enough. Oh, that misses. Oh! And then the tatters are gonna try to grapple you. That grapples. Alright, he's got a hold on you. you really got and he, a hold uh, he on heals. Me. He heals some. It's your turn, Jamie. Alright, let's uh, try to escape again, I suppose. Oh. Unfortunately, that is not as good as last time. No, it is not. Um, I think you can still heal yourself if you have land hands. You still have a swift action. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Well, it really sucks right now. I have uh, the move fear prepared, but I can't cast it on myself. <laughs> Puts me back to nine. That is the, that is the problem with remove fear. The only uh, yeah. stipulation about it is that you must not be feared. Uh, Normally, uh. Normally a cleric would have good saves, just bad luck. Uh, yeah, I, I rolled a five. Yep. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to uh, animate my hair, and I'm going to. Uh... I still don't see it. Oh, there is a round track. Okay, cool. Anyway, I'm animating my hair, and I'm going to do that first. Do the attack with the hair first. It's probably not going to hit. But it's a free attack, basically. Roll 20. So, here we go. A little 15 hit. That does not hit. Okay. Even with the grapple condition? Fingrim, are you, uh... are you uh, chaotic neutral? Um, I think so? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Um, unfortunately, even with the grapple condition, that does not hit him. Alright, uh, and then I'm gonna move up and do my normal attack uh, with the Red Destiny. Still have two charges of uh, the... what's it called? So... Um... Plus five, and I don't know if that hits. Nineteen. Ugh, that's that's it. 
Uh, yep. I don't have a flanking bonus, unless Jane counts as a flanker, but I don't think so because she's grappled, so... Yeah, she's grappled. Unfortunately, that misses, just barely. Alright. Alright, oh, Cormac, um, on your turn, uh, like, everyone over here at the chapel expresses, like, sudden, like, what? W what's he doing? Um, Winter yells to the others to, like, everyone stay here. I'll, I'll, I'll go and see what's going on. Because now they can kind of hear, like, the sounds of, like, battle and other stuff that the door is yeah. open. And she runs to you and runs past you. Okay, That's my guy might, like, he's probably going to go into the door. Or actually, since he can't, doesn't really see it, do I have to keep going? No, like, you, you kind of feel like you're somewhat safe. You can't see the guy. Okay, he'll stay where he's at. I, like, move away from him. Easy. Make other people to be able to go through. Okay. Uh, Kudu, it's your turn. Uh, the dog tried to bite you. How does that make you feel? Um, so because I'm frightened and I can't see him anymore, I can fight this dog, right? You can defend yourself. Okay. Um... <laughs> well, I'm... Sorry, sister. I'm going to attack it. <laughs> Tell you, it's uh, not going to be sad. So I am going to... Because uh, I'm still prone, so i got to add those numbers and stuff. Uh, let me just see what it is. Oh. Oh. Prone actually doesn't change my attack. Mm, for a ranged attack, no. Mm-mm. Yeah. Sweet! You do take AOOs for making ranged attacks, though. There's a penalty, because I'm true, right next generally. to it. Yeah. Yeah, and the penalty is an attack opportunity. Normally. Yeah. Is that your actual to hit? Well, I mean, if I'm gonna forego an attack of opportunity then I might as well just stand up and try uh, take that okay it'll try to bite you okay so I'll stand up it'll try to bite then I'll five foot step back Eight. and attack does a 20 hit you yeah wait you take one point of wait non is that damage. during my prone AC or non prone AC that's a prone AC right when I'm you're when prone. you stand it's prone AC Okay, yeah, it hits. You take 20? one point of non-lethal damage. One? Oh, god. Thank... That's nothing. You take one point of non-lethal damage. This dog is nothing. And the seven does hit it. Or the seventeen does touch it. Sweet. It lets out a yelp, but it doesn't quite sound like a dog. It Do has like, this weird like, reverberation to it. Your dog is attacking me! Uh, no, I don't say that. <laughs> okay, I mean, do you hear that? You stupid right, dog! Sorry. It's your turn. What are you doing to Eustachius? Oh, I miss. Ah, oh, man, those dice are sucking. Um, Jane's just like, on God, its what is turn, it sister and trusting evil things? It's going to do something. Uh, you guys aren't exactly here, right? You guys are somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. Um. The dog stops looking like a dog. For Kudu, because no one else can see it. You hear a shriek. That's what it wants. Um, this creature, it has a stout canine torso, but it 
It is atop a slimy mass resembling an earthworm. And there's veins that dangle from its face. And uh, I need you to make a will save. She's going to be double frightened. Um, How did this thing not attack me? Because you were being nice to it, and it was like, yeah. It might have an intelligence. Will. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess what I need to invest in, guys. Appeared. Uh-oh, the new, uh, the new Zoe Zimmerman of the party is Kudu. Uh, Kudu, um, you are now Ooh. frightened of this thing for three rounds. Shit! And you hear a voice, like, in your head. Actually, no, 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 you don't. Uh, oh. anyway, that's his turn. I hear voices in my head anyway. Uh, the Tatterman. It's going to attempt to confirm the grapple on Jane. That likely oh, confirms. it wanted me so bad. He's going to do claw damage to you for five, five points, and I need you to make a will save this time. As the the tatters, they uh, they try to affect you. See, I healed five. I lost five. I healed five, and then I lost five. You're hanging in there. It's a lot of fives. Come on, plus nine will, baby. Ooh, it's pretty impressive. Low. I think you have the highest will save in the party. Which is quite the change from my other characters. <laughs> okay, um, you're all right, but you still feel the tatters trying to drain your will. I have a six will save, but I roll it low every single time. He growls and hisses at you. Uh, James, your turn. Not I know the pain today. of uh, having a character designed to be good at something and always being bad at it. That's my cleric and, and, little... uh, ah. and kingmaker. It's kind of frustrating. This is going to be bad. I'm guessing the 14 doesn't make it. 14 does not make it. Oh, and I only heal one. Crap. All right, Fingram, it's your turn. All right. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a f just a full attack. I still have these charges of chill touch. I want to get off. So, uh, first attack, probably a miss. Uh, second attack will be the natural attack, which also misses. So, yeah. <laughs> That's my turn. Alright, Cormac, um, on your turn, Winter's acting Shaken's with brutal. you. Uh, she is going to try to sense your motive, because you're not acting like you usually do. Okay. Maybe she has removed fear. And she, she, she senses that something is amiss with you. And she says, uh, except... Uh, this blessing from Phrasma, and you can choose to fail this if you want. To. <laughs> uh, she's gonna cast calming yeah, motions yeah, on you. Uh, okay. This yeah, overrides yeah, the fear, and you are feeling just calm now. You can't take any hostile actions, but you can act. Otherwise, normally. I can't take any hostile actions against like anything. But I can, like, heal nope, people. Nope, because you're or... calm. Calm. But you can still can heal, heal people. people. Alright. And then she's going to move towards the library with her move action remaining. Alright. And he'll start moving back as well. Alright. Kudu. 
you run away from the the thing I'm assuming. Um. You don't have to move because you can stay within uh within the vision here. Yeah, I uh Can I knowledge it? Um, you're afraid right now and not thinking clearly. Oh, right. Then I flee, uh, I guess, down the hall to where I can or whatever. I just run from it. I'm somewhere now. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sister Maria turn, it's yours. It's your turn, Sister Maria. And the, the puppy follows you, like, it hounds you, nipping at your, your leg. It's not a puppy, stop calling it that. <laughs> it's an abomination. <laughs> yeah, it's a demigorgon. Uh, well, literally. Sister Maria is gonna try and probably fail again. No, you got oh, a twenty. Nope. Switch that in for yeah, twelve. Confirm. That smacks it. Now the book only counts as cold iron, right? Uh, it's also magical because I have magic and magical. Weapon on it. Okay, so you don't confirm, but you do damage. Unfortunately, not all of that damage goes through. What? It seems like he's resisting your damage. You might need something else. Or be Probably like Finger, so just be a Magus. <laughs> just be a Magus. <laughs> is that your turn? Life is a lot easier yeah, when you're a Magus. that's my turn. All right, his turn. He's gonna try to confirm the grapple on Jane. You know how we're gonna get. Uh, give me another will save, Jane. He's gonna do. Claw we're gonna get your you. book with like silver writing and like all the different elements in writing, so you can just beat the shit with uh, people just with the writing. <laughs> so is that claw damage to me? Yep, yeah. for free. And I need a will save. Or What's the point? you I'm could a just have two. my uh, text be made out of, like, different material. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, have the, the text inside of it, different materials, like, one page animantine, one page silver, and then you open no, to that I don't page. Think it would work that way. <laughs> I know. You open to that page when you need to use that type of attack. Uh, can I get a will save? Even though I'm unconscious? Yes, you can still be mentally affected. James, Ouch. man. I rolled a two. This is going well, guys. Great session. <laughs> uh, you take three points of wisdom damage. Winner's coming. He just don't place. like me. Yeah, plus uh, Cormac can heal people now. He can't attack yeah, you, but he can heal people. I'm gonna be coming in. Uh, roll a healing. con to stabilize, Jane. You bleed up for one. If Kudu was here, I could cast Remove Fear on her. Oh, I'm lost in the labyrinth. Uh, Wait. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just continue full attacking and hope to hit things. Well, say it that you're like, might over happen here, eventually. Kudu and you're cowering. Yeah, like, somewhere over there. Now, I'll start with the natural now. attack, though, this time. Uh, nope. And then the not natural attack. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. All right, that's my turn. That's how I roll. All right, Cormac. Okay, it's your turn. I have a question for you. I have, I know I'm calm, like I have the calm thing. Would I be able to pass remove fear on me and act normally after that, or since I'm calm, I'm not technically feared? No, the the calm emotions have dispelled the fear, but uh, you are oh, okay. under calm emotions now, so. You okay. can't take any hostile action. The only thing that can break the calm emotions is if something attacks you. Alright. Well, I'm gonna move up and channel Ray towards Jay. Okay, go ahead and move yourself. Can you actually get somewhere we can do that? Or. Maybe you can do it from here. Maybe, maybe not. This thing's a bookshelf right here.
So you might have to wait till next turn. Yeah, it might have to be next turn. Unless you I'd can have do to it be from within... there, I don't know. No, well, that's, I don't know. I have to be within 30 feet. Oh, yeah, that'll... that's... yeah. Uh, I could double move. move up here. Maybe Winter God's channel, Ray. And she, she finally move. sees they what's get going up closer. on. Alright, uh, she's actually going to cast a spell. She's going to cast Bless, because it's a 50-foot emanation from her. So everybody gets that plus one morale to attack and versus fear. Uh, Kudu, um, you're in a corner now with the creature. Uh, you can defend yourself because you have nowhere else to go. You're not cowering in fear, but you're just you're cornered. Okay. Um, then you'll probably have to add the penalty because I'll uh, blast the thing. Okay. It's a minus two for being afraid. Well, I have the fear and penalty, but I don't have the. Um... Oh, okay. I, I'm like right next to him. I should be taking a penalty because I'm adjacent to him, right? Yeah, the Maybe. penalty is an attack opportunity. Oh, yeah. Is that it's what it's that no is? penalty oh. to attack. It's just, yeah. Uh, yeah, it'll try to bite you. Dang it! I'll have to remember that. But she's scared right now, so. Uh, yeah, twenty-three hit. Standable. Yeah. I imagine she's doing it like, get, get away from take, me! Uh, yeah, yeah, basically. You take another point of non-lethal damage. <laughs> Alright. It's scary, it just doesn't hurt, but it's still really fucking scary for some weird reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so really non-lethal damage you to death. Uh, now I have Bless. I'm a step over Jane's corpse. Well, not corpse yet, but I don't know that. Oh, he's still grappling. What? Okay. Hmm. Also, he would have provoked doing that anyway. If he wasn't. It's probably not a good idea. Unless it's your dog, then apparently it's okay. Oh, I can't wait yeah, till well, I I'll just step here and I'll attack. <laughs> 17. 17. Unfortunately, that misses. Grappled penalty. Nope, that misses. You're very close. Okay. That the the creature is gonna try and bite Kudu again on its turn, mm -hmm. and it misses. Uh, the Tataman drops Jane, and he is going to. Where is this? He He's probably bagging like full elves now, since we missed him target. for like four rounds in a row. He is going mm -hmm. to attack Fingrim. I am going to bring it on. I've done uh, like yeah, three that, damage. Those both hit. Nice. Oh, sorry, that's five less than that, but I think that's still it. Um, I think so. Have, uh, it's only plus ten. Minus, yeah, that would still that would still would hit. If it's five less, that still hits. The CMD versus him is like eighteen or something. I think. Uh, Jane, roll con. Oh, uh, you stay I'm blind. Woo! 
Yeah. On his, on his turn, would uh, wouldn't have to roll a uh, five pro peasants. We'll say. I haven't chosen to have him use that just yet. Well, he doesn't really I'm grappled, use... but I don't think I'm gonna do anything different <laughs> because just that's just silly. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I have, like, no bonuses to hit, but, um, that's fine. I don't need bonuses to hit. Uh, here's my natural attack. Yep. Uh, where we're going, we don't need bonuses to hit. And then I'm going to try to hit him with a sword, too. Yep. 15 misses. That's my turn. Oh, I didn't Cormac is your that damage. It took her. Cormac uh, pulls out his shield as a move, and then he channels Ray, uh, Jane, or yeah, Jane, since she's on the ground. Okay. You can heal her. Right, eleven points to Jane. Do anything else? He'll start moving as well. Or he pulled out his shield. No, he can't really. He can't do anything. That's his turn. Uh, Winter is going to. She have. She has a lot of channels. But she doesn't hey, have, you have a uh, selective channel. I forgot I Channel Ray actually has a range of 60. Does it really? It oh, yeah, because it's on up level. Yep. It has a longer range based on how many, die, how many channel die you have, so it's. I forgot it's about 30. That's good. That's good there. No, I forgot about that. He can laser yeah. beam some undead. Um, she's gonna cast a spell it's... on herself, and then she's gonna start moving up. It's actually like better than a normal channel for that, that because, well, in some ways, it only hits one target, but it increases the save DC by two. So there's another uh, a feat. It's called channel a line, and you can make your channel into a long line. It's like 120 feet. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing and take the attack of opportunity. Well, that hatches. It was my way of doing a selected channel, but it tries I don't to bite have you. a high, okay. high charisma, so I uh, uh, sixteen. This. What was it? Sixteen. Uh, that misses. My water shield saves okay. me. Yep. And it's actually still up, but it doesn't look very well. Uh, and on its turn, it withdraws, and it runs it runs away from you. Oh, good. Yelping. I'm still scared. <laughs> Not so much of it anymore. Uh, Sis Maria? Uh, well, we're going to try this, and we have a plan if we fail. Actually, can I move into a flank if I go? No, I'm just going to attack from here. Where was that hit? That hits. Uh, and it doesn't deal a whole lot of damage, but you do damage. Step back. And, uh, we're gonna pull out the Silver Sheen. Okay. Apply it next turn, and then step back up. Yep, that's that's my turn. Uh, by the way, Derek, uh, you can... He, you got healed for 11. Oh, fun. I'm still unconscious, though, huh? You're still unconscious at the moment. Uh, he's going to maintain his grapple on Fingrim, or try to... 
Yep, probably will. Yep. That was a normal Isn't attack and damage. And give me a will save. Alright, well my will save is not very good, so it's probably not going to work. You take three points of wisdom damage. Alright. Jane is unconscious. Uh, finger, is your turn. Uh, alright. Well, I mean, I've been trying to hit him for like five turns, so I still have both charges. Uh, <laughs> so, natural attack first. And then my normal attack. Why do you have so many penalties? I know that you're shaken, but what else? Shaken, grappled, uh... That's about it. The natural attack just has a really low bonus anyway. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, right, it's the beard. But shaken shaken and grappled is a minus four, which is right. pretty big. So... Uh, that oh, one you hit him! Alright, it's crit. a chance for critical as well, so... Probably no crit. It doesn't back up, but you hit him. Okay, he gets to make a fort save, uh, and it's gonna do uh, five negative energy damage. And uh, oh yeah, I can't. Ow. I can't. What am I doing? I can't hit up arrow to find the damage. I haven't rolled it in like ages of empires. Uh, and seven physical damage. All right. And if you failed the fort he save, DC 16 or 15 or whatever it was, it's been so long since I hit somebody with this, 15, uh, then he gets one strength damage, which really doesn't do much, but maybe if I hit the other one. Nope, he fails. Alright, cool. Alright, he has one strength damage. One whole strength damage. <laughs> hey, I can hit with that, another one. If, he, if he's on an even if number, it... that drops him at least one. No, that's a drain. If it's damage, you actually have to hit take two before it does anything. Alright, Cormac, it's your turn. I can cast a spell on Sister Maria, but it's not a hill, right? As long as it's not, like, hurting him. Yeah, you can like cast a, a spell yeah. on her. You just can't take any hostile action. Alright, he's gonna cast a bull strength on Sister Maria. Uh, Be strong, like the ball. He's gonna move up. And that's his turn. Alright, Kudu, it's your turn. Um, give me a will save. Um... You fended off the, the creature. Let me see if your will is feeling stronger now. This is with my fear penalty still, of course. Yes. And it's not gonna be good. It's not enough. You're still feeling terrified of the, the Tatterman. Okay, yeah, I kind of stay where I am. Your heart is pounding after driving the creature off. Oh yeah, probably, for sure. Uh, Sister Maria. Apply the Silver Sheen to Book. Step back up. Attack. <laughs> yeah, that hit. Plus two. And so now it's uh, cold iron, magic, bludgeoning, and silver. Ouch. That hurt. Did you apply the, the bull strength? I did. Sweet. That's why this I time the book deals full damage. Plus six. The silver seems to be working. He resists everything but silver, I shout. And he, he gasps. Ah! He uh, lets go of Fingrim, and he's going to claw twice. Here's a claw on Fingrim. Ah, oh, he misses. That misses. Another claw. That one hits. And he turns his attention towards Sister Maria, and the tatters reach out to grapple you. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll That's grapple. That's five left. Uh, that'll still grapple. Wait, wait, let me check. Uh... That's still above 21. Alright, yeah, he grapples you. Yeah, still grapple. Jane, you're still unconscious. Uh, Fingram. Alright. Uh, I still have one charge of this, so I'm gonna attempt to hit, uh, my sword first. Ooh, that's a hit. No crit. Doesn't confirm. Okay, so three inner negative energy damage, uh, and if he fails the fort save, then he's gonna have one more strength damage. And then uh, the physical damage from the sword is seven. So he did save. So he just takes the damage. Uh, and then. Okay. He's looking pretty hurt now. I think, even though I'm at like three health, I think I'm going to. Uh... Actually, I'm going to five foot step. I'm going to five foot step back. Cormac. Uh... Winter is going to move over to Jane and grab her. Actually, no. Uh, no, wait. Sorry, I forgot she's my She's going to cast a spell on you, attack. Jane. Sorry, I was going to... I did it backwards, so... She's going to sack a second level spell to cast a heal on you. Pretty sure the beard attack Ooh, misses. Alright, so how much do I get? Oh, sorry, not that much. Uh, <laughs> this was supposed to be 2d8. So, 13. Uh, take away the, the 7. It'll be, uh, yeah, 13. Like I said, 13. <laughs> okay, yeah, she heals you. Uh, Cormac, what do you do? He's gonna... Hey, I'm still fight. asleep. He's gonna move down here. Uh, Channel Ray thing room. Six. Going for six. Kudu, uh, give me another will save to see if you're, uh, you feel up to the task of rejoining everybody. Okay. If she's not, she can just there wait you go. five more rounds. You, you <laughs> swallow your fear, and while you are still shaken, you can act. Uh, this round, or...? This round, yes. You feel a small amount of courage or bravery welling up in you. Then I probably only have enough move to, like, go back to the doorway. Okay, and that's I'll fair. I'll peek in and see what's going on. The fight's still going on. Uh, Sister Maria. Although you seem to be a creature from hell, you are not prepared for the torments that await you. Ah, no, <laughs> I rolled a net one. Oh, shit. He has more time to prepare. He has a little more time to prepare. He heals a bit. Uh... He lets go of you, Sister Maria, and then he's going to claw at you twice. Okie dokie. Ooh. Uh, well, that confirms those are some Damn. rolls. That, that, uh... The second one misses. I mean, the that tatters miss misses. you. They flail around. It looks like he's getting weaker and he's unsteady. Apparently he wasn't prepared except with his right hand. His right hand's prepared. Jane is still asleep. Is there any way I can try and wake up? Perception oh, check uh, or something? Sure. Give me a perception. Like, I feel bad having them burn their healing on me just for me to lay there unconscious. Sorry, I forgot to wake you up. I was going to do that. Huh. I think pretty sure it's a DC 5 
perception, right? <laughs> when you're yeah, literally laying sleep. under the combat? <laughs> it's like a DC zero, but you have like a minus like 10 or minus t something like that for being unconscious. I think yeah, it's a minus you're, 10. you're off by which, one. Which you, it, one. You have a minus 10 and it's a DC zero. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so they actually. You're unfortunately still unconscious. <laughs> Maybe next round. Man. Well, Oh, sorry, finger. Winner. Who's up? Uh, it's Fingram. Hmm? No, we... Okay. Uh... Yeah, uh, I well, accidentally... Yeah. Instead of doing the, uh... Beard attack, I think I'm a little bit better off doing spell combat in this case. Um... It's not by much, but it is. I think it is slightly better. So, spell combat. Uh, first, I'm going to do the Ray of Frost. Uh, it's going to be minus. Actually, it's pretty much the same. Okay, screw that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm doing the Beard Attack. Uh, first, Beard Attack first. I'm no longer grappled, so it helps. Okay, that misses. Uh, and then I'm going to do 5 foot up, and I'm going to attack with Red Destiny. Hey! Oh man, these past few turns, um, it's been like a 20 or something almost every... Yeah, I'm making yeah. up. I'm making up for lost time. Uh, I don't know if an 18 confirms, though. It doesn't. If only you were flanked. All right, seven damage then. If only All Jane right. were awake. Cormac, it's your turn. Um, Winter is actually going to wake. Uh, she's going to wake um, Jane up. Oh, okay. Cormac is going to cast a spell on Sister Rhea, and the spell is Vital Strike. What is it? What? Vital Strike. That's a spell? True strike, sorry. I was for some reason I was saying vital. I think uh, I don't think you can cast strike on other people. It's personal. Oh, is it personal? Yep. Alright. Um it is indeed. then I'll cast Does uh Sister Maria have Shield of Faith cast on herself yet? Or himself? She does not he does not. He'll cast Shield of Faith on or him. Alright, cool. Doctor Sister Maria now has Shield of Faith and protection from evil. Ah ha ha. <laughs> well, I think that still confirmed because those were high rolls. And I'll move over here. Are they both deflection though? No. Uh, shield of faith and uh, isn't it a shield bonus? From evil? Are they both? They're both deflection bonuses. They're deflection bonuses. Oh, oh, one tire was a shield blade. Well, it'll, it'll overwrite the other one then. Whichever one's higher, will yeah. Anyway, uh, could you? Um. Okay. I'm gonna double move. Unless this guy wasn't evil. Can I climb up onto the bookshelf up here? Yes. Because okay. you are a cat and you have climb speed. All right, I'll do that. I'll double move, and all of a sudden you guys see Kudu up on. The she bookshelf. returns on the bookshelf. My hair is like standing straight, like like static, straight out, like yeah, not laying down at all. Uh, Sister Maria. Uh, we'll try this again. Probably miss. That doesn't hit. Almost. Uh, he lets go. We'll, we'll stand right here and hope to lure him into a flank. He's already in a flank, technically. Well, Between no, me and Jane's Pingram. uncon. J Jane's just waking up. But you know what? He he doesn't like you, Sister Maria. You you're hurting him a lot. 
He wants to finish you. Mm, you know, okay. Uh, that that barely hits. That one misses. Uh, yes, I'm grappled now. And roll. It's his turn. Jane, you're awake. You're conscious. Um. I'm going to swift action load my last alchemical and fire. Doesn't that provoke? He's I'm grappling. sure it does. Oh! Oh, he nice. is grappling. You're right. So... Gonna do a smite. Go. That touches. Okay, and then I'll stand up. And that's good because. Is that enough? You shoot him. And he staggers, as this time you actually, like, get a bullet into him. Yay! He groans. And he, like, him. a claw, like, touches him, and he sees his blood. And he falls in shambles. Like I said, out here you're not that scary. I remember that he has fast healing. And yes, I go next and you can probably initiative. already see his wounds beginning yeah, yeah, to yeah. heal. But I go next to initiative, so I'm just going to move up and do a... Uh, do a uh, Coup de gras. Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to do one of those. Okay. Oh, well, that's not enough to save him from the DC 30 fortitude save. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do you kill him with red destiny? Probably walk up and like spin around a little bit and just slam it down right into his face or where his face normally should be because he doesn't really have one. You stab it into the the tattered rags then, around. Yeah, kind of do one of those things. Holding it like a knife, kind of, kind of kneels down and and just does that like repeatedly. All right. You plunge your sword into him, and he convulses for a moment, and just like how he formed, his begot his body begins to fade into yellow mist but this time the vapor completely dissipates and the tatter man is no more all right we are out of combat congratulations everybody you beat uh this hell of a and What's it's really scary about him between fighting is Zandalus not and what, yeah, the like, what's really scary is that he comes out after you fight Zandalus. Mm. I'm glad we did it this way. <laughs> the Zandalus fight, uh, honestly wouldn't have been that tough. The biggest thing that was tough with that is that we fought him after, like, fighting a bunch of other things, including, like, the Bag Lady. Like we didn't rest beforehand, but it would have been definitely awful if we had gone straight from that. 
like that Goodness. fight where we already had like no resources to like this fight <laughs> with no resources. Plus, we wouldn't have had winter. So yeah, there's one other like really nasty thing about him. Like I said before, he has two fear auras. First, he has an aura of fear, and then he has frightful presence. So if you fail the first one, you're probably gonna fail the second. Yeah. Yeah, he's horrifying. It's not enough. Need more. Let's go find that he's dog. A nightmare creature. I'm gonna go kill your dog. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys do what? after this? Winter breathes heavily and isn't sure of like just what she saw within like a few seconds. I point down the hall uh... and I'm like, Sister Maria, that is no dog. What? Uh, what are you talking about? Doctor Sister Maria will come inspect what could is. No, it transformed! Look, it bit me! And she's got like two non lethal damage on her. <laughs> Jane says, From experience, sister, you do I have horrible some rats. judgment in people. It ran down the hall after I scared it away. What did you do to Eustachia? More like what was it doing to me? It was probably know. another doppelganger. You don't have great history with judgment. Oh no! This was like a worm-looking thing! <laughs> Sister calls out, Eustachius, where are you? Winter says that with the crisis averted, she's gonna go reassure everyone that everything's okay. You guys, stay out of trouble, please. Eust Sister's look- Wh which way- which way did Eustachius go, Kudu? Uh... Everybody, like, get up around Cormac and it'll channel the hill, everybody. Um, Sister Maria, you can hear the the whimpering, the loud whimpering of a puppy coming this way. Oh, I'm guessing that. Sister Maria, yeah. Sister Maria will get heals first, and then we'll go save you, Stachias. I do not go with you. You're on oh, your own, bro. As he channels <laughs> twice. Yeah, Jane's with Kudu. Two channels? <laughs> yeah. Hill for life. I, yeah, it puts me. Yay, my non lethal goes away. Yeah, Jane's another victim of uh, I'll go bad Sister judgment Maria. on Sister's part, so. <laughs> How long does no, calm emotions last? Oh, you thought she is. It lasts for a happened. few minutes, but it'll go away after a bit. So you'll He's be probably just. He's probably just like. And I still have like... Red Destiny out. Puppy looks a little hurt, like it's been rough and tumbled a little bit, but nothing like mortal. Then it, it you know, whimpers, uh... and it's curled up like under the, the chair. I'll go try to approach Eustachius and handle animal Eustachius. Okay. Um, sure, go ahead and roll. This is okay. trained. Um, it looks like it doesn't want to go to you, like it's mistrustful, but then it like, with its ears down, it slowly pads over to you and gets like between your your feet. Uh, I will put uh, the Bible away for now and pick up Eustachius. Yeah, I put my put the okay. sword away and walk back there it, it, it trembles in your, in your grasp. And just look concerned. <laughs> Uh, maybe I, I will uh, eventually prepare my Cure Light Wound spell, which I have a slot available to do, but I will not do that right now immediately. And we will return to the party. I love this so much. How much experience do we have right now? Total. This is my favorite, um, whatchamacallit, party dynamic is is what's happening between the, the, the puppy and Sister Maria. I'm at 8,400 8, still. But uh, you know what? I'm going to be difficult, and when the puppy comes in, I'm going to create water and, and splash it. I'm just going to stare at it and wait for its reactions. 
Okay, it, it flounders around and like barks very loudly. Okay, but what does it sound doing? like a puppy or does it sound like something else? <laughs> you can give me perception, Kudu, but to everyone else, it sounds like a puppy. God damn it, I need them to hear it. No, now I'm all wet. <sighs> yes, yes, it is. That's what you get for attacking and Everyone me. probably just. Everyone probably just thinks that uh, Kudu just, like, got stressed doesn't like out. The dog. Really hates yeah, dogs. Yeah, and doesn't like the dog, and, like, took out the stress from, like, fighting the Tattered Man on the dog. Yeah, and, like, exactly. God yeah. damn it! <laughs> no! I'm not crazy! Like, that's... That's even kind of how Fingrim feels, like, that Kudu's just being hysterical. Even though, <laughs> That's like, why you're in an asylum. Even though he, no! he doesn't like the dog either, but he's he's still, like, he's still, like... Yeah, it probably didn't do anything. <laughs> I had bite marks. It's gone <laughs> now because of the channel, but <laughs> it bit me. That is true. You did have bite marks. Yeah, but the me. dog could have been defending himself. <laughs> <laughs> I just just gone don't, mad. And started don't hear that. Hear yeah, that, that, or I still think. I mean, I already thought it's like a bad-tempered dog because it attacked the kids earlier, but I still think it's just a dog. Well, you guys had to have heard it echo through the hall. It's when it transformed and had these very strange growl bark sound that he described. So you had to have heard that. Whether or not you're remembering you heard that, I don't know, but... It did happen. Yeah, I was a little busy. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I think Cormac was fleeing too, so he might not have like really noticed. But yeah, despite what everybody else hears, Kudu, you are free to be as suspicious as you want and untrusted. <laughs> Thanks. And not gonna the lie, the player man Jane, knows Jane this is a Kudu terrible, more. terrible idea. <sighs> In before this puppy is the big bad evil guy. <laughs> like for the campaign and we just don't know it yet we're like just carrying around game. like the the ultimate evil guy in this game yeah this we're like we're, we're like, like slowly feeding it insanity to grow into a powerful it, yeah. demigod of <laughs> uh the outer planes maybe and you're letting it happen thank god Bless Jesus. Oh, I forgot to do this uh, before, but this should have happened too. Uh oh. Okay. Um, so for the people who failed against that frightful presence from the Tatterman, that was Kudu and Cormac, I believe. Yeah. Uh, you both take three points of sanity damage. From the the horror, the absolute horror of that I think that, creature and encounter. Because I have one sanity damage on me from the first session, unless I would have healed. Uh, you would have. For... I think winter. Took How long have we been here? And it, the first time, the only time. I I kind of want to end canon it that Jane got so used to the nightmares that actually seeing him out here, she just didn't really care anymore. <laughs> Well, that, that's what helped. Well, your aura of courage is kind of reflecting that you're bolstered against him. Yeah. So, yeah, but that, he still that, is probably it's just... very terrifying. Nah, he's not as scary as he was in the nightmares. We're good. Matt, <laughs> I, I don't think I've been healed sand. You had all, have more I? of the nightmares than you Yeah, no, nobody has. It takes, yeah, I did. You it said takes that seven the full days of uninterrupted rest. Didn't you say restoration oh, did you get heals? Lesser restoration? Yeah, like the first time. Lesser Winter restoration did for does me. heal. Okay, so at least I had mine removed when she used it on me. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, been yeah, lesser story. restoration heals one d two sanity damage. So I go. My threshold's four, so I take. I pass. I'm um, at my threshold. No, no, no! I think that has no, to no, be that's uh, at any once. one moment that you take. 
sanity damage. So oh, okay. If you were to take four points of sanity damage, that could result in a madness. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, if Wait, you were so if healed from lesser restoration, two and I took three, three points. Yeah, you're going to develop a lesser madness. Oh, okay. Then let's do it. The experience of the encounter is was terrifying for you. It was. I was pretty much gone the whole time. Two things. Kind of made sense. Uh, I'll let and you know now what it is. I'm still on edge because a, this dog separate. is still here. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be an onset? Alright. Dang. I need a headband of, like, plus four wisdom. Okay. Plus four, okay. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Why not make it a plus ten? Uh, I don't have that kind of money. I don't even have the kind of money to get a plus four. Those don't exist. That's true. Does it just max at did. six? You could research it, it right? Maxes at six. Yeah. Mythic levels, maybe? I don't know. You can always throw uh, ion stones into your body and get it that way. Oh, there you go. Uh, like some rune lord has done yeah that's how i know matt's mm -hmm. what matt told me about the rune lord that did that it's pretty cool though it, it really is he's got so many bonuses from it what karzog his ion stones oh god yeah like yeah. he had a stupid amount of like bonus stupid age bonuses, yeah it's a stupid amount mm -hmm. <laughs> They're like, let's make sure he cannot die in one hit. Right, yeah. Basically. <laughs> no, no, no he had more health crits. than Yavul. Did he? Yeah, I guess. Yes. Yeah, 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 it was a lot. Yavul tops out at like, I think he's just below 300 HP. He's like 290 something. Yeah. Like a level 18 kineticist can one shot Yavul. He's just a well, melee we, powerhouse. We took out Yavul by fingering and deathing him. We nega leveled him, and then he felled it on the will save for the finger of death. Yeah. By, he rolled like a one or a rolling, two. He had to roll a natural one, and he did roll a natural one, and that's how we were able to kill him. Oh, nice. Yay. But anyway. So you'll tell me later um, what yeah. I have, or? Yes, I'll tell you. Okay. There's an onset period. Okay. So it might be a day or more. I think I already know what I'm going to give you. Oh! You get to choose. Yep. yep. So whatever fits the situation best. Anyway, what do you guys do? I continue arguing that that dog is not a dog. And, uh, so if I you keep up with it, Sister Marie is going to uh, start intimidating you with the uh, scripture lecture. About those who, uh. <laughs> don't give peace to their neighbors. Figrim and Cormac are just dancing around. <laughs> Eventually, after a while, uh, Winter shows back up. And she I'm tells guessing Cormac's still, like, in a haze. That, of, uh. Like, they've weird. organized everyone, uh all of the survivors enough that we're ready to start trying to leave the island that there should be like a boat or two that we can take some people on but it's going to be multiple trip uh well do we want to continue like researching this library i mean i wasn't doing that it was you guys actually doing that because i don't have the proper skills for it but Pingram is helping you have oh. you have librarian I don't think I was really making any of the rolls to do it. You did one day because Jane couldn't help out because she was like too tired to. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, she sure. says that Let's... it's probably going to take a few hours, like most of the day, but we should be able to get everyone off the island. 
Yeah, we'll be the last to leave here, along with maybe Dr. Lissandro. If she okay, she, on she thinks you. You know what? Let's check up on Dr. Lissandro real quick first. Jane Has the bag lady killed Dr. Lissandro? I open this door. I knock on the door first, and then I open the door. Oh yeah, she's still alive. Their response. She might be still alive. Um, she was at negative hit points, so she could have died. Uh, like recovering from negative hit points is pretty tough. She's uh, probably still you alive. Don't actually, hear anything? I'm uh, I'm gonna open the door. <laughs> okay. There's no resistance. Doctor? You don't see anybody. Ah, oh, son of a... I knew we shouldn't have left her alone. Uh, I'm gonna try and track her. Give me perception. Uh, you look around the room and you perceive that many of the things have been disturbed and that some of the things are missing, mostly books and other stuff. So it looks like someone took a bunch of things in a hurry. And she probably you can left see evidence the first. that, uh, yeah, there do seem to be like tracks leading this way. And that can either be, like, papers that have fallen, like, dirty footprints, maybe even, like, some blood because she was bleeding before. Uh, well, we'll try and track. I don't have skill points in this, but I have a bonus because I'm an Inquisitor. So I have, I'm, what, level 3 right now? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and follow the trail. Okay, is everyone going with Sister Marie? Survival. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm just yeah. gonna move you. Oh, thank you. Okay. And for the hour that you're able to follow the tracks, they bring you here. And this door is open. You ping up. So this door to the north, it is open, even though I, I can't actually open it. I made a mistake with the dynamic lighting. Uh, well, I can't see And the tracks lead out of the door. Does that just lead out into the... Is that like the outside? Out the island. To the outside, yeah. yeah. You guys go outside. Like over here. Yeah, the footprints just continue. The track just... The trail just continues towards the rest of the island. Uh, do you want to follow? Yeah, do sure. Do you want to follow? I think okay. she probably left without us, but... This is going to take you off of the map, for which I don't have one, but eventually you reach uh, the Briarstone Isle docks. Yeah, that's what I thought. And out of the, the three possible uh, little uh, docking points on this single pier, there is one uh, like little pole thing with rope that's been untied hmm. there are two boats little rowboats left yep okay we can go back we'll have to track down uh 
Dr. Lissandro. Well, Winter we? did say that she that she has people that can do that. She wasn't too keen. But, uh, keen. Sister Maria, you also, uh... You also saw that there were some other tracks. Oh, okay. There are some other tracks that were leading over here at some point. They kind of I'll be right back. Joined these. And give me another perception. Anyone else can join the perception yet too if they want. Oh, I won't limit um... it to just Sister Marie. Uh, am I still frightened? No. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, there we go. Okay, wow. Okay, Fingram, Cormac, Kudu, and... Not high enough for the check, but Sister Maria and Jane, you guys are still pretty good, so... Everybody works together on the... Um... At the dock, people start piecing together that something happened here. Basically what it looks like is the the tracks, the the mud and the dirt, or whatever that's left over from footprints, they kind of start to intermingle, and it looks like there was a fight. Hmm. Oh no, the bag lady killed Dr. Struggle. Lissandro. I mean, man. Or someone else. Do we see blood? You don't see any blood. Bag lady got her. But, Kudu, you feel like you should... You, you, you feel like this really big feeling of unease because you're around water, but your intuition tells you that, like, that there's something unsettling about the water around you. Kudu thinks for a second. She's like, well, if I start talking about that, my old party might all believe me because they think I'm crazy. <laughs> but I will say that. I'll say, uh, something's not right with the water. She doesn't I know I look what. into the water. How deeply yeah. do you look into the water? <laughs> deeply. Uh, well, as far as my eyes can see... It's murky. You can't see very much. Uh... But from like where you are at the dock, it's not super deep. Like It's probably a little bit more than six feet deep. You could not quite stand in it, but wouldn't be very... I'm not it's super not easy good to drown at in swimming, it. but if I take all of my armor off, I think I'll be okay at it. So, I'm gonna do that. Take some time to take this, uh, medium armor okay. off, and I'm gonna you, go... you take off all of your encumbrances, and I don't need to check, uh, because the water is very still, but you dive into the water and it doesn't take you long when you reach the bottom like whether it's just your vision in the murk like you can just barely make it out or like you feel it but you feel uh you feel a body or you see a body i uh i pull the body up and out you do and uh kudu's intuition was uh correct uh it's the body of a not only drowned but Strangled Lissandro. I did tell her that it wasn't wise for my patient to go to stay alone during the night, but. Welp. May her soul rest her in peace. Her throat has been crushed. Okay. 
But she came out here on her own. Do we, can we, from where we're at, can we see, like, the, the group of people coming towards the docks? Like, do no, we, I think you're going uh, to maybe dock? after a little bit. I say we, uh, remo like, move the body as, as fast as we can. Like, if he sees them coming. Sure, you, you can move the body somewhere. Uh, after you do move the body, what do you guys do from there? Uh, do we still want to do some research? Eventually, Sister Maria will tell Winter about uh, what happened to Dr. Lissandro. Okay. Um, she is, her first reactions is that of like, she feels remorse and that the suspicion that she was murdered weighs heavily on her. But she says that. She goes to being matter-of-fact and, well, we're alive and I got the information that I needed. Oh, well, and uh... She, she prays that her soul passes to uh, Phrasma's court without any more interruption. And uh, Sister will uh, do a little prayer praying that uh, may the Lord have mercy on her soul. Sister doesn't really believe that Lissandro uh, will be granted into the gates of heaven. But... <laughs> and Cormac will say her fight is over. Okay. Uh, what else? What do you guys do after that? Uh, do we want to spend time in the library? You can. You guys can give me those uh, research checks. I'll move you back. I mean, it sure. might make sense to do that if we're waiting. If we're going to be one of the last people to leave anyway, we have like a day to yeah. do that. And it's what like, what else are we going to do during this? that time? Religion? So the checks yeah, for this high... are going to be... I believe it was knowledge history or... Yes, religion. Uh, well, here we go. And because you guys have been in here for a bit, you're getting bonuses. Who's the I main? Have this one. Sister Marie is the main. Oh. Yeah, somebody is the main research, and everybody else is helping. Right. I Primary think research Maria and secondary best, research. Had the best modifier. Yeah, was Sister Maria has the best. Right, you have a okay. nine. Seventeen plus. 17 plus 2 more from Cormac. I know we were and close to... And then you're getting a cumulative plus 2 now from doing research in the same library. Okay. So yeah, um, you only make a bit of progress, but that's enough to get you some more information. You beat the DC by... It was... You beat it by five, at least. And it gets lower every time we do it, right? Well, no, you, you, you keep getting a cumulative bonus to researching in the library every time you do it uh, the next day. So you guys haven't missed a day yet. So it's it's stacking. Okay, so, you get some information about Briarstone, and what you learn is that Briarstone was originally intended to be a fort, not an asylum. It was positioned to protect Thrushmore and trade along the Danver River from pirates sailing Lake and Carthen, and the fort's construction began in 4315, that was about... 400 years ago, and was plagued by accidents, culminating in the death of its overseer. 
Construction on the fort was halted, and rumors spread that Briarstone Isle was haunted. And to expunge the taint of urban legends, Count Hazerton Lowell's the first convinced the Church of Phrasma to perform a successful island-wide exorcism in 4584, about almost almost 300 years after it was built. I don't think that exorcism did shit. Out of character. It might have. The, a witch was uh, taken away from here at one point. Kudo paints while they do this. <laughs> I pull out my paint. Yeah, you've got some time to paint. And I'm going to take a 10, which means I'm taking a 12. So that's a 19. Are you painting a picture of a, a dog with devil horns and a spear I, tail? I am painting what I think I saw. Not the dog specifically, but it's, it's true form. Ooh, that's still quite a gruesome image. Yeah, like it probably looks terrifyingly wrong. But still terrifying. Because she's abstract artist too, so. Nice. Okay. Um, yep, eight hours passed. Most of the day is gone. Um, in short in a short while, uh, winter and everybody will be able to take you guys to off the island. Are you ready? to leave or yes. she asks you or absolutely but i, I say i, so. I say that dog shouldn't one come lifetime. with us what no you she looks she at sister maria and says just keep it under control in the boat and if it if it jumps off we're not saving it i i'm uh, okay. i'm kind of with kudu honestly I need to take Eustachius to see a veterinarian. Oh, that's a great I may be idea. biased because I'm, I may be biased because someone else that uh, uh, sister thought was good tried to kill me too. But yeah, I wonder what the anatomy is of this thing. Is its heart and its legs? <laughs> the anatomy is. You evil. know what? I'm gonna detect the alignments on Eustachius. <laughs> is that what you do? Smart. Yeah. And remember, they have to be above, like, four hit dice to register, or be a cleric. Or a paladin. To have an aura. You're detecting auras, right? Yeah. So probably doesn't detect any aura. <laughs> Maybe, though. I doubt it's over four hit die. I don't... It was... It was, like, barely doing anything to me. But it was scary, Unless okay? What's the spell you're using? Detect what? Alignment? Uh, it works like detect evil, but it's a spell-like ability. W what's I it called? And I can detect any alignment. Uh, d detect evil. It's called detect evil. Yeah, it's well, called it's detect this, evil. It's a class feature, right? Yeah, it's a class feature, but it works as the spell detect e okay. evil or any other alignment. I have to rotate through them, though. Okay. Well, uh, I have the chart here for aura power and creature and object, and it depends on if... Uh, the creatures it depends on the creatures types what the hit die is to get the which call it and uh sister maria um you detect a faint evil aura yeah what <laughs> of course we don't see this this is just sister no. maria so you have to come to terms with this yes to come to terms with it on your own 
And the dog is just kind of like doing dog things, like licking its, uh, like licking itself or something. Sister Maria goes insane. Uh, Sister Maria is going to more uh, insane. Uh, cancel this and uh, try try it again. There must be <laughs> something wrong the first time. It looks it looks at you and it it uh it tilts its head and then like puppy sound. And you do it again and you still detect a faint aura of evil. Huh. What? Is Kudu maybe right about this? Uh well well let's see what <laughs> kind of evil. Maybe it's a lawful puppy. We'll we'll try detecting law. Um, you do not detect the presence of... You do not detect a lawful aura. Uh, we'll... This is, this is looking unfortunate. We'll uh, try to detect the presence of chaos. Uh, you don't de detect the presence of a chaotic aura. Okay. Complete crisis averted. <laughs> maybe there can be maybe this puppy can be reasoned with it's gonna take some work but we'll get there uh so when I get into town there's gonna be a muzzle that's bought for this thing <laughs> and a leash oh my god I don't want to be on the same boat. There's two boats. Can be on. There's other boats. Okay. Do we really have to take boats across the water? I mean, that's the only way that seems to be uh, the way to cross the. the span you could of swim. Water. And it's Stony a big said, span never of water, the boat. Kudu. Yeah. Could you like catch You're like, kind of like scared in the lake. to get on the boat? She doesn't yep. know why. And I mean, there was a drowned body in just six feet of water. Oh yeah, I'm probably thinking about that. Maybe she just walked into it and then drowned. Like, maybe it's that simple. She looked in the water and saw her reflection drowning, so she jumped in to save herself. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. People drown in their bathtubs sometimes. You never know. People drown on their own throw-up. Yeah. Yeah. There are circumstances for these things. These aren't normal occurrences. Uh, but yeah, well, yeah. Um, the party Obviously. can clearly see that Kudu is on edge. Does anybody do anything about it? No, nah, Sister Marie is a little mad at Kudu right now for uh, being mean. She's shattered be right, the world. Maybe, be right maybe about Kudu's your dog. the reason Eustachius is going evil. Oh, God. How dare you be right? You know. My, uh, Cor I don't know if Cormac really, like, picks up on people, like, feelings <laughs> that much. He doesn't really. I don't think he's. Uh, I'm really sure you're better than Finn Grimm at it. Well, yeah, but I, I still don't think like he, like bothers with like little things. Hey, like Finn not okay. that bad at sense motive, actually. So, does anybody plus... do or say anything to Kudu? No. I rolled really poorly uh... there, though. <laughs> but normally, I'm I'm not that awful at it. I actually have a rank in sense motive. Whoa! I don't know why one? I'm rolling really? slightly. I don't know why I'm Jeez, going. Kudu, nobody cares about you. Nobody can detect oh. anything about you. But Jade loves Kudu! <laughs> well, I mean, Cormac it's pretty will. obvious there that I'm not like getting that. on the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm the last one if anyone. Oh, okay. She's not getting on. It's more trying yeah. to figure yeah. out why you're not getting on the boat, you know? My guy will. My guy will, like. Uh, since it's taking a while, he'll, like. Alright, what's going Kudu? on? Kudu? 
It looks like I'm actually deathly scared of the water, despite having blasting water out of my hands, apparently. Yeah, I'm like on the boat probably already, like though. I'm like, let's go! <laughs> Uh, Cormac will get off the boat and like walk on the dock and he'll he'll ask her what's going on. She'll actually shake her head and, and say she, I, I don't know why I, I just I, I think it's a bad idea. We shouldn't get in the water. He's he'll, uh... all of this cat folks fur is on end. <laughs> he'll, uh, he's gonna say and her tail I can like help. Straight. He'll, he'll say I can help calm you if you want and try to get past this. What? How's that possible? He's gonna start casting a spell. Oh, okay. She don't know how to spell and... cast, so... He's gonna cast Remove Fear on her. Um, I, I mean, I guess, you know, even though I don't have a fear effect, maybe that just kind of does make her a little more calm. Okay, um, this is actually a perfect time for this to happen. Okay. Uh, Kudu, you see Cormac uh, casting a spell and he says that he's gonna help you with the water but you're suddenly feeling very paranoid about whether you can trust him just like you're paranoid now about the dog and about sister Maria um, you have paranoia now <gasps> uh, give me a will save in order to be helped by him oh god uh, does paranoia affect my save? You actually have better saves now. You get a plus two bonus on saving throws versus charm effects. Is this thing I can uh, turn on somewhere on here lab? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, I'll just roll it and you can add. But whenever you someone tries to use the aid in another action or is trying to give you a beneficial spell or effect, you have to succeed on a will saving throw. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, when you try to cast a spell on uh, her Cormac, she she vehemently refuses it, or she's afraid. Yeah, it, it, she blocked my spell. So she has to roll a will save to resist the spell. Yeah, I correct. Guess. So, <laughs> make another will save as you try to resist his spell. <laughs> she meets. I think you failed to resist it anyway. She meets. Oh, she met? Aw, oh, shit. Yep. So she's like, flailing around or something. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, don't touch me, don't, no, I'm fine. I just... It's not, it's not really a touch, but he probably would have tried to like, put his hand or something to make it more soothing, but... He'll like step back. Okay. He's like, what the hell's going on? And I'm guessing on? you cast remove fear. Yeah, you would have cast it. You would have kept ca uh, finished casting. Okay. Um, Kudu, you suddenly do feel like your level of fear goes down. Well, no. She, 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 re she resisted it. She resisted it. She's, she oh, saved she it. Met. She resisted it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Then, yep. Uh, you are still untrusting. Of what the is water your reset, and any attempts uh, to Cormac? to make you feel better about it. It's still uh, 15. Next level, I'll put it up to 16. What's the uh, first level spell? Yeah, yeah, I know. I you think you're at 16, uh, probably. How yeah. uh, uh, Thingrim's uh, chill touch DC was so high, since that's a first level spell, too. Uh, I have 16 int, and then I also have spell focus necromancy, so... Here's a oh, wall of tech. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, my, uh... My stats aren't, like, super high. I had, since I'm a cleric, I kind of had to, like... 
Put yeah, them clerics in. are deceptively mad unless you play like a weird cleric build like uh yeah Mantis did and play like the caster cleric pure caster cleric or something then then you pretty yeah. then you can be really focused on like just wisdom mm -hmm. yeah wisdom's my highest with 15 which is okay. usually not so my highest. um the spell on kudu fails uh what do you guys do I ask. Don't uh, we have a straight I look, jacket? I look at no. I look at um, Winter and ask her if she has another one of those spells that she cast on me. She says not today. Let me see what's in my spell book. They're trying to cast magic on you, Kudo. I know. <laughs> She's kind of like holding herself with her arms right now, trying. She's probably looking back and forth around the island, trying to assess if there truly is another way. I'm gonna try the diplomacy here. I'd be like, Kudu, we've been helping and been your friends this whole time. You can trust us. It's safe. You, uh, yes, but I'm... the water. I don't know. Uh... Oh, that's a good diplomacy. I'm going to add in, uh, hey. I'm going to start preparing to make sure you're, fear. you're okay. <laughs> oh, it's another good diplomacy. So, uh, Kudu, what's mine your bonus assistance 20. I'm jelly. Oh, um. Two. All right, I'm going to roll this in secret. <laughs> Oh, that that was a good roll. Secret. What's your sense of? I gotta roll this in secret. <laughs> There's a ah, hidden ah, DC ah. to this. I can't tell you what it is, but it was a very good roll. Uh, Kudu, you feel like even though their methods of trying to calm you down haven't been so good so far, you breathe for a moment and feel like maybe you can trust them right now. And then I'll say, just don't let me fall in the water or something. I don't know. I don't. Oh, just, yeah. Can we get there quickly? Well, let's go. Let's go. He'll, and he'll like, I'll, I'll jump in after you if you fall in. I, I very slowly As will get I. onto the boat. And he's going to take off all of his armor while we're going across the water. Okay. Just all in right. case. You guys sail... Not really sail, but you paddle boat to, uh, <laughs> to the the town. Any water splashes of water that like spring up and hit her, she flinches every time. And we are officially out of. Uh, you guys can always come back to the Briar to Briarstone Isle and oh, do research. I don't think I'm ever coming to. back. Well, there are but books there. We are officially out of book one. Hey. What what happens to High teleport five. spell? You can always just teleport back into that fucking library. And true, that's true. And teleport out. Better method than both. I'm sure we'll find a better a better library than, than this. That's true. Unless there's something specific we need to load. I guess I I don't know. Theoretically, we could have something that specifically comes up that we're like, it's a tyrant. Because I mean, I'm sure stuff that happened here. Did is everybody be get your later. 600 experience for being the Tatterman? Yeah. No. Yeah, we're still 400 off. Yeah, really? 400. I thought you were gonna level. How much we did we get for okay. fighting the tattered man? Total. Wait, how much did we get for fighting the tattered man? Six hundred. It was six hundred XP each. More of where are we at? That's actually just enough for me to level up. I'm at nine thousand. Oh, I exactly. must have missed yeah, something from was, defeating yeah, Zandalus and saving something. Lissandra. If yeah, you let Zandalus me kill was worth the dog, like four hundred. <laughs> okay, that'll get me enough. Well, didn't we? We already got XP from Zandalus last session. Yeah, it was 400. Yeah. I do not have that in my journal. We're still 400. Yeah, I think off, you guys so... might have missed that. I am now at 9,000. No, we didn't miss that because I re listened to the session and you said for defeating Zandalus and blah, 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 you gave us XP. Yeah, and that's why I have it on there. I don't know, so mine adds up to 9,000. We had. For session nine, we got sixteen hundred and fifty XP. So maybe you didn't miss some there. 
The unicorn gave us 400 as well, so maybe that was the one you missed? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just... Well, we'll be at 9,000. I'll just add that there. Uh, yeah, I believe everyone is at 9,000, so if you if you did math wrong, then you have a convenient uh, mathematical error in your favor, and you guys love Yay! Cool. You guys so play I Munchkin go for at more all? strength, right, guys? There's a, there's a uh, card that it, says yeah. uh, convenient mathematical error, go up a level. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This level I haven't up played much for a long now time. In book two, the Thrushmore Terror. This is not the end of the session. I'm just showing you guys the. Uh, the I was like, what? Yeah, I was like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> it's two hours early. I guess you're not prepared. But um, it's Maybe you thought we were gonna party one. You guys, uh, you guys can level um after it's, the session. That wasn't the bag lady, okay. was it? No, I'm front. pretty sure that's the witch. No, okay. this is not the bad yeah, witch. Is that the, the woman I saw in my dream? Shonen. I think you said she had purple. This is not the woman you saw in your dream. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not, huh? This is just the front of the book. The Thrushmore Terror. <laughs> this doesn't want to give away anything. Okay. Now I get to do my kinetic cover stuff. Wait till you see this bullshit. Well, can everybody hear this? I'm good. Now I get to pretend I'm a Magus. Oh. I get to also pretend I'm a Magus. I... I get to enhance my bulk like Maguses do. So you said, uh, after session level? Yeah, so don't touch your uh, character sheets just yet. Aww. Okay. Bye. I have it already in here. Still though. do some stuff in here. This is a cool looking town. Reminds me of another little yep. shithole town. You guys, uh are paddling on the boat with some other people. Is that the shithole town it reminds you of, Sandpoint? Yep. No. <laughs> Sandpoint's not, not Sandpoint. Terrible. Riddleport. Riddleport. <laughs> Riddleport, Riddleport yeah, no. is a scumbag. <laughs> Riddleport's like Riddleport a lot bigger scum. than this, though. I actually yeah. like Riddleport. Like, yeah. <laughs> we love it because it's scum. Yes, exactly. Well, my uh, Wait, my I need I need my to character, find my note from that game. My character from that campaign is settled on uh, Devil's Elbow. He's building a, a like a monastery to uh, Godfrey out there. That's funny. Savoth finally got off of it. They found her on it, and she was like, "Get me out of here." He soloed. Did you guys run into the uh, that like damned soul on the in the tower or whatever? I think so. Wait. Yeah. We we didn't fight it. We didn't fight it. Uh, oh yeah, I played. remember. Oh yeah. We didn't fight it when we played. So my guy went back by himself and soloed it. We were like, this is a bad idea, this is a bad idea, this is a bad idea. We go up there, we're telling ourselves this is a bad idea. It turns out it was a bad idea because it ended up falling over and rolling, and yeah, it was a bad idea. Yeah, my guy, uh, he fought that by himself. He was just like, uh... So, well, at that as time, you guys like uh, travel clarity, to the town, so. there are, like, deep gray clouds that loom, like, in the sky, like a low ceiling in a dark room. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of rain soon. And the wind is starting to pick up. So the conditions on the water get a little bit choppy, but not too bad. Mm -hmm. But the small boat draws near Thrushmore. And one of the people with you, one of the other survivors, points to the shore. And they call out that they see the lights glowing in the town's windows. And other people with you, and maybe you too, start to sigh in relief, hoping that their ordeal is over. And you guys dock at this, uh, one of these piers. Yeah. 
I need to get a party token for you guys. I can just move around. Yeah. Oh, I'll use this. This is the part. First thing to check out is map to scale. All right. Let's see, you guys map are under one of these little scale. dogs. But uh, what do you guys do? Um, Winter says that that was the last of everybody, and she kind of asks you guys, I guess. So, um. What are you all going to do now? I still don't know who I am. Oh yeah, I mean... I'm either. going to find a veterinarian. She says, oh, well... Poor vet. If you had your memories, I surely would have asked you to come with me to uh, where I was supposed to rendezvous with, with uh, one of my superiors, but... But uh, Accuser Omari, who came with me to uh, Briarstone, didn't fare so well. I don't think she survived the earthquake. Um, we were going to rendezvous at a building called the Sleepless Agency. And she gives you directions to it. And she says, I'll be there for a little bit uh, today before heading to the chapel. So if you need to see me for whatever reason... Uh, go to the sleepless building. Okay. Okay. Sleepless building. And she'll give you directions to it. It sounds like it's uh, not quite in the center of the town, but she's, it's a big wooden two-story building. You can't miss it. More importantly, where... Uh is somewhere to sleep. She tells you that there is a tavern in Thrushmore, and there's an inn. The inn is where you want to sleep. The inn, the tavern is where you can relax and get some food and drink. And the name of the inn is... Just a moment. Where's all my people? Oh, I have a thingy for you here, too. Oh. Okay. Uh, she says the inn is called the Silver Wagon. Silver. And the tavern is called the Stain. Stain. Ew. The Stain. She says... All the way on the it's left. It's not very fancy as you can imagine but the man there is who runs it is fairly agreeable and he keeps the place uh free of free of like you know people who are gonna cause trouble okay but yes here is a uh, thing i wanted to show you is it a picture of thrushmore Aww. That looks strangely like World of Warcraft-ish. <laughs> and uh, on demand, whenever you guys want, here is a map of Thrushmore you can pull up. As a handout for when we're not on nice. the Thrushmore map. Sweet. Uh, she says, did you need any more directions to places while I'm here? Do you have any have questions about the town? Or where a store we can get a map at? She says, I have one, but since I'm not going to be here for too much longer, you can have it. And she gives you her map with a couple of places marked. Sweet. 
And she says after she spends the day at the Sleepless building, she's going to go to New Chapel. That uh, the worship of Harasma here is strong, and that's where she would go to see where she's needed next. Does she know of a vet in town? Indeed. Somebody who works with animals. Um, she says she doesn't know anybody who works with animals like that. All she knows is that uh, there's just a stables. She says, sorry. You'll have to look over your dog. She says the healer's house is the best place, but I don't think they treat animals. Hmm. Okay. But if you want to go to the healer's house, you can. There's an old halfling that provides alchemical elixirs and tinctures. What about a monster specialist? What do you mean a monster specialist? <laughs> like a druid? I, I pull out my painting and I'm like, somebody who might know what this is. She looks at that and she says, I have no idea. Yeah, maybe a specialist in town that might know about strange creatures. She shrugs and says, I don't think I know anybody, know anybody like that. Uh, <laughs> I... We're gonna have to. I like to feel like, like there should be like a dramatic pause. Like, even they know about strange, and then in like a dramatic <laughs> pause, and then say creatures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a cricket goes off right in the middle of that. <laughs> Fuck it, if it's like a movie, like the camera zooms in. <laughs> Dramatic pause between the two characters. You know they're gonna the say Aeons, right? Forth. Nope, just kidding. No title drop yet. Out of character, she said that there would be a reward for helping her, right? <laughs> just like clearing this out. I believe stuff so. Like that. I might even ask that in character. Like, Fingram actually. Go for it. Because I forgot all about it. Also, like, uh, I mean, we need money to, like, stay alive out here anyway. It's like, uh, I don't really have any thing. Uh, and you said something about uh, a reward? Perhaps is uh, something discussed at the uh, Sleepless Building. She says, I think so. I can... I'll talk to them about it. I'm All sure right. that uh, Mrs. Rents at the Sleepless Building will be interested to hear about you, you. You just put... I was like, what the hell is that red uh, writing? I see that you, you put go. Hiller's house. Marking it for you on your map. Well, I say we just start walking into the town and figure out where we're gonna go after. I'll I'll get the reward from Winter first. Yeah, that sounds I say like we do a that. good idea. So we just want to go with her then to the sleepless building. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah. All right. Okay, you can come yeah. with her if you want. We'll be your little ducklings. I don't I don't know anything else in in this town, so we'll uh, accompany you. That's why I feel like we are right now. She's the mom and we're the ducklings because we can't really remember Everybody shit. give me a perception. Okay. Mm. 
Maybe uh, hey, hey. these as well. <laughs> like, does she seem annoyed that we want to follow her? Maybe she wants to get away? Let's see, Maria. Everybody did well. Okay. So as you travel and you I did bad on my perception around the uh, the town, you notice that this town is pretty. It's fairly quiet, even though there are people milling about every every so often. There's not a whole lot of like commotion in the town, but you you get the sense that. Like, People kind of almost avoid eye contact with each other. And the few people who like are engaged in a conversation are speaking like in whispered in whispers and like hushing themselves. And sometimes like you do see some people that like look directly at you guys and their gazes linger and they glare at you. If he's Why walking are they in. staring? This isn't anything new for Sister Maria. Yes, it is. Because she doesn't remember before being there. No, but this is how most people react when Sister Maria tells them about her deity. His deity. When Sister Maria yeah, tells them about his deity. I, I get the feeling that he hasn't done that here. And I don't uh, know, for I the people like who rolled insomnia, over 20... I'm not aware. You guys hear uh, some people talking about, you, you get like the tail end of a conversation, and it ends with, Oh, another one? Oh, better lock your doors. It's not safe at night anymore. Who knows when someone else will go missing. I'm gonna ask her, what do they mean, another one, and people going missing? I don't... Who are you asking? You're asking who? We're, we're following with Winter, winner. right? Right. We're so hearing, like, locals whispering conversations to each other, right. and we are overhearing yeah. somebody say that. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I got that. Winter, who seems to know more than we do, so... She says, beg pardon? Well, these people, they keep... They're whispering about another one. They're looking at us and they're saying that people are going missing and they guess they should lock their doors? What, what's been it's going on? It's rude to eavesdrop. Yeah. But it's good to know what's going on around you, especially after, well, what we've been through. She says, I haven't spent too much time in Thrushmore and when I did come here, I, this is pretty much the kind of reception that I got. Not surprising. Uh, but I don't know about anybody going missing. But if anybody knows about, if anybody knows the going ons in the city, it'll be the people at the Sleepless Building. All right. Well, then I guess we should keep moving. She looks really nervous. <laughs> okay. You guys follow her to the Sleepless Building. Yay. So this wooden building is, uh, it's a large wooden building that's two, two stories tall. And the front doors are dark, wood, and big. And it's very quiet. So Winter goes up. She knocks loudly a few times. And she simply waits. Uh, then we wait. And eventually, you hear some locks being unlocked. Uh, and so someone answers the door. Let me see if I can show you this token without putting it on the map. Does everybody see that? Yes. Yep. 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 Alright, uh, this woman answers the door. 
Oh, she's cute. I'm guessing half elf. And uh, she looks happy that Winter is there. And she, she gives her a warm greeting. And she like goes to hug her for a moment. And when she looks like over Winter's shoulders at you five, you can tell that like her demeanor immediately sours. Like she furrows her brow. And she oh. speaks aloud. Um, Winter, I didn't know that you were bringing other people with you. And she says, uh, don't worry, Meg. I owe them a favor. So please uh, trust me when I say it. it would be worth your time and the agency's time to see them in. And the woman in the glass is like, huh, okay. Only because uh, I like you. So she invites everybody in. I can just imagine what and we directs look you like, to a like uh, all... a lobby. All like non-sleep to ride people with like bags under eyes and stuff like that. Well, so I she mean, looks sister looks a I little bit ridiculous. Comes into the building. Yeah. Yeah, Vingram just looks like a normal dwarfy dwarf, like, at least. <laughs> well, I was just saying, like, we all look, probably look, like, super beat, like, tired and, like, oh, yeah. unclean and, like, dirty and... Uh, the woman who uh, has been identified as Meg I have asks you all if so... there's anything you guys want to, like... Oh, I don't have it prepared, actually. Just kidding. My um, Cormac will say, I'll have some L if you have it. Wine and bread would be nice. It has been a while since I had communion. She says, Ale is for tavern people. I'll bring you all wine and bread. She says, we have work to do here, not to get drunk. I, I, I would prefer water, thank you, though, ma'am. I'll, I'll have her wine, I guess. She says, bread and water. As she, walks, as she walks away, he'll, like, mouth. We're doing business here. And then, like, not really say it. But like play on her words, like roll his eyes. James, like, can can I give you a hand? You're asking the lady who is. Yeah. You're asking Meg. She's offering to help carry things. She says, "No, no, you stay right there. That's fine." And she smiles yes, to you. I'm gonna sense motive on that smile. It doesn't take a whole lot to detect that she's kind of like feigning the smile. That she still seems unhappy about your presence. So eventually she brings back uh, some little trays of uh, bread, some like rye bread and water. Darn it, no one. And uh, another woman comes in after her. And this woman is exceptionally well dressed in mostly black and then some like lavender or violet. And she tells uh, Meg, Thank you, dear. That'll be enough for now. I'll see to them. And uh, this woman is who you're looking at. Oh god. Huh. I 
I have a feeling we're gonna have a hard time with this lady. I'm sorry, can you reshare that so that it pops up right? She's Did all you get it? jazzy. As I said, she's very well dressed. Huh. And uh, she like takes out a uh, a pipe, puts some tobacco in it, smokes it, doesn't say anything, crosses one leg over the other, and takes a puff. Does anybody do anything? I uh, just eat my bread. <laughs> uh, sister will say uh, grace before uh, eating. If there's a wine, like a wine glass in front of Cormac, he just takes it like a shot. He just like there's no wine, just downs. water. Downs. Oh, just water. I guess he'll drink water. Thanks, Jane. Okay. Ruining my religious rituals here. Well, I mean, if you want to do business with alcohol, that's on you, but I'd rather be level headed. <laughs> Let's have a full body picture. She looks cool. Oh, here we go. I like the way she looks. Very fashionable. She looks like she's out of the 20th century. Yeah, she looks nicer. Well, not fashionable for the times. What is this crazy attire? I don't know, that face. That, like... She says, after she puts her pipe down, been what a week or so since you five have been poking your heads around here where'd you go some vacation what are you talking uh, about my guy says like the same thing, thing like what she says the pay must have been good you haven't been at work for at least a week Well, she doesn't need to roll a sense motive to know what Jane's thinking. What are you on? What, we we just woke up in a mental asylum. Uh, she rolls her eyes and he says, P please. Does, uh... Is uh, Winter, Winter an associate of yours? Uh, Winter actually left. Uh, she's, she's still in the building, but she went with Meg. Uh, right, I'm asking this person if Winter is oh, an associate of hers. Oh. And she says that Miss Klotchka is a friend of ours, yes. And sometimes our line of work coincides with each other. Royal accusers. We are the sleepless agency. We are a more private organization. But you would know that, wouldn't you? Uh, uh, yes, of no. course. No. Jane looks over at sister like, really? You know something and you're not sharing? I'm afraid they, uh, took hit on head or something. I don't remember. Cormac will look her straight in the face. of her pipe. Cormac will look her straight in the face and say, we have no memory past five days ago when we woke up. She lifts an eyebrow at all of you. And she says, you can't believe me to believe that. One, one day, all of you are working for the wealthiest man in Versex County. Suddenly go missing. And now you're back, so you have no memory of Who's... what you've been doing. 
I had a job. Uh, Who's the wealthiest, wealthiest man, man in Versex County is definitely uh, Count uh, Hasserton Lowells. Hasserton Lowells. Wait, isn't he the one that put us in there? Well, yes. That's the only reason I even know that name is from looking at uh, my own patient record. She looks at all of you. And her expression changes a bit. And she... She puts down the pipe fully this time, uncrosses her legs, and leans in a bit while she's sitting. And she says, You all really don't have any memory of what you've been doing. Do you even remember who you are? No. Yes, no. I am Dr. Sister Maria, here to preach the she Lord's says, word. I pull out my file and go, this is the only reason I know my name. She takes it and she looks at it. And she says, well, color me surprised. She says, maybe we can help each other. I can tell you a little bit about the man that you all worked for, but why don't you start by telling me what has happened to you in the past few days that you can remember? Ugh, the tattered man. So I sense motive. So did sister. She hiding things from us? Oh yeah. I'm for loving sure. the music on this one. <laughs> uh sister She's hard to Dr. Gauge. Sister Maria will uh start reading her scriptures from the Bible. Okay, and I'm assuming you guys do tell her about what happened on the island, in the asylum. Well, Jane doesn't have an issue doing that. I don't know about them. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's like anything specifically that we wouldn't want to tell her, though. Maybe that we have the book. We're definitely not telling her that. If you want to omit that, that's fine. Yeah, I guess we kind of... We might worried. mention that, uh, like, after we wake, woke up, um, Lissandro, or whatever, that she wanted, she wanted the book, but omit the fact that we actually have it. At least that's how I would, if I was, like, Fingram's telling it, Fingram will specifically, like, not mention that we actually Sounds... have the book. Mm -hmm. And Sounds kind of try to, to gauge her reaction to us, like, mentioning the, that book at that point, though. That she was, like, looking she for She seems it. more interested in the fate of Lissandra. Well, and she... she says that that is a shame. Even more so that she would have definitely known more about the Count and his dealings as of late. Well, yes. she stands and extends a hand and says that her name is Sasadia Rents. Uh, I'll shake her hand. She's very brief about it, and she only shakes one person's hand. <laughs> so she shakes Fingram's hand, it's like no one else. And she says, There are some things I could tell you things that might help you draw your memory. One of them being that most of you, she looks at you five, worked for uh, Count Hazerton for a couple of years. And that, well, to be blunt, you were a little more than his flunkies. Multiple 
most and says, of us. And some of you. And she looks at Cormac. Have very bad tempers. What? That doesn't sound like Cormac at all. Hmm. Jane looks over and kind of chuckles. <laughs> Maybe uh, the amnesia was good for you. He says, I do. I did feel a little bit of anger at moments. He, he's kind of well practiced at holding it in, at least for the most part. Seeing as you all still have some form of amnesia, what do you plan to do? Uh, I would like to. Well, I want to make some more ammunition for my weapon, but. After that, maybe go see this count and find out what happened. She says, you do know that he, that Count Hazerton has a manor here in Thrushmall. Called no, Iris I Hill. don't know this. Out of character, I'm going to guess that's Iris Hill. <laughs> Yeah, we actually okay. have that map. It's probably, it might be one of the things labeled on the map that Winter gave us, too. And she says, however, I've also been wanting to ask the Count some things, but he has been unreachable for the longest time. Perhaps we can help each other. What is it that you've been wanting to ask the Count? Come on, roll 20. She says, I'll tell you later if you help me. What is it exactly you want us to do? I'm glad you asked. Here at the Sleepless on, Building, 20. we investigate things. Be they mysteries or private inquiries. We have many agents out in the field. However... I'm finding myself short-staffed. I am only joined by my four other sleepless agents. You met Meg. She's a dear. Also with us are Allard Hagley, Lucky Jocelyn, and our uh, bookkeeper, Shaven. Don't mind him if you meet him. He's a very pretty boy, but nothing up top. Then why is he the bookkeeper? It's not a hard job. You should take care of your books if you know what's good for you. But as you can see, with only five of us here, we cannot keep up with all of the all of the troubles of piling on. Aside from the count suddenly missing, the richest person in the county, the magistrate has also been missing as of late. So, between the count and the magistrate, the town has been in a bit of chaos without any leadership. Naturally, like, it's fallen to me to try and keep like order. Like eavesdropping friends mentioned, uh, some other people have been missing as well. Mm, you've I heard mean, about the town's misfortunes. I'm I'm nervous in a new place. I'm not not my fault that I'm eavesdropping. I'm sorry. There has been a rash of kidnappings as of late. Hmm. Oh, they did perhaps connected? Devil if I know. Like, what but kind of kids? That... All kinds of kids? She says, turn a phrase, dear. From children to adults. I mean... Catfoot kids, too? She says, you're the only one I've seen here for a while. Oh, 
What about dwarf kids? She says, keep the questions for later. Nice, I'm annoying her. The, the kidnappings warrant more investigation. However, my team and I just cannot possibly uh, handle all of this work by ourselves. On top of that, we have some uh, individuals causing trouble in the town. People are talking of, uh, of some kind of witch that has taken up residence. Of course, these are rumors. No fact to base them the worst kind what is the rumors uh, perhaps based on what are the legend? rumors and what is the witch's name from these rumors i'm sure any poor sap would have you believe that the briarstone witch has somehow returned and she scoffed a five oh yes there's no legend. way that could happen Oh, yeah. When you have individuals doomsaying, it doesn't take a whole lot to convince uh, the simpletons to all follow the leader. My God, the, owner of the, the owner of the silver uh, wagon and the stain have been harassing me to look into a man by the name of Elgrior. That has been spreading doom around the town, saying that the witch has returned, that everyone in town is going to vanish. Can you believe it? There's already been one poor family driven out of Thrushmore because of him. I can definitely believe it. So, finding out what has happened to the Count, what has happened to the Magistrate, dispelling these rumors of a witch, and then dealing with this annoying doomsayer are all on my list to deal with. The former being the most important, and the latter the most vexing and annoying. If you can at least help me with one of these things... I'll have my, me and my agents help you back. I would suggest talking to uh, Della and Della who owns the, the silver wagon and what's his name? Uh, Emin who owns the stain about El Griar. I'm sure you'll run into him at one of those places. He's right. been spreading doom and gloom about the return of the witch, so hopefully you can knock out two birds with one stone. Does Take everybody's care of an name man here start with a D? Or, sorry, Dina. Dina Galagos and Emin Golston. Emin? Um, Emin Golston. E-M-M-A-N. And then Dina Galagos. D-E-N-A. And Delrior? Elgrior. Elgrior. I heard them as Della, Demon, and Delgrior. The D's. Uh, do I think she's hiding anything from me? Not in this sense. She's being open with you about what she wants done. Okie dokie. Uh, what troubles do you expect us to find? Are you gonna support us 
food and shelter. She says, darling, if you're really that poor that you cannot rent a room at the Silver Wagon, then you need more help than we can provide. I, like, take my hand and, like, pull at my f uh, phrasma robes from the chest and puff it out. Like, like look what I'm wearing. And I just tilt <laughs> my head at her. <laughs> she says, we can supply a couple of rooms since we have so many. Since Winter has put in her good word for you. That'd be cool. It's very generous. We have found gold along the way, as well. Yeah, but I'm stingy. I need all that gold so... for... Uh... <laughs> we we don't get sure our I own uh, we don't get our own uh, gambling hall this time. We should do that instead. Screw this investigation. We're gonna go buy some property. We're gonna <laughs> set up a gambling hall. It's not gonna be very successful because we're in the middle of Thrushmore and there's not enough people to support that kind of business. <laughs> Well, Especially when they're all going disappearing. Scene. Well, there goes 250 of my gold. That was used on a fight. What, the alchemical silver thing? Yep. Wait, how? It helped do... a lot. How do you have 250 gold? Uh, I had a the alchemical gold piece of alchemical thing that I uh, used in a fight. I only have 161 gold on me. I only have I 31 only gold. I have 11 gold. What the hell? I have, 20, I have 26 gold. 3 platinum. And 5 silver. We found stuff and we've been splitting it. Yeah, I have items that are valuable. Oh, by the way, I have I'm holding a braces of armor plus two. We don't have anybody that wants those, though, do we? Uh, like everyone, no. everyone actually wears armor, or has like some. We other definitely, we definitely armor. have stuff to sell. That's something I'm going to be selling at some point. Then we also have five uh, vial or five or something vials of alchemist fire and other things like that. Okay. All my wealth is concentrated into a sword. <laughs> the kinetists yeah, don't get a whole sword. lot of gold, but for good reason. <laughs> I don't use oh, a weapon. Oh, for like starting almost. gold. Yeah. 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 Almost all of my wealth are in uh, consumables. My wealth is on my shoulders and my what I will. <laughs> I have a few, I have like an oil of a line weapon and a potion of bull strength and a scroll of fox's cunning. I'll probably use a scroll to like learn a spell, but. I forgot I have that amulet that has the two properties. I get level two well. spells next time I level up, so it's a pretty big level for me. I stay I out of, when we get out of character, like when we end the session we all like take our inventory and then we can figure out what we're gonna sell and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's assuming we actually can sell stuff in Thrush like magic items in Thrushmore. Yeah. And we're also getting the whatever reward later on. At the, this oh, little level, a place, you. A place to stay actually to is, going. is valuable. So, I mean, she gave us that. I'll even say, like, uh, like I I think I'll uh, deal with these problems in the morning. It's been a very long day. I guess we never found those uh, manacles again. Nope. 
Uh, I'm get, we're waiting on Winter to see what she does. I know she said she's gonna go to the chapel after she's done talking to whoever. She might already left. If you're waiting for her, then I mean, at some point she'll come back. And she'll tell you that. Yeah, she's ready to go to the chapel. She's just gonna... Mm -hmm. She sent most of the people, the survivors, there. So she's gonna go help them out for a while. She may be here for a day, maybe two, but she doesn't expect that much longer. She says, I hope that, uh, that Sasadio didn't give you the... I wish he didn't grill you too hard. He'll uh, say... Aww. She seemed to know us, though. She met us before we went to the... before we lost our memory. She said we worked for him. She says, really? Well... I guess she probably did grill you pretty hard. Well, she said four of us worked for him. Right? I mean... She didn't really grill us really hard, she just found out we didn't know anything and started telling us stuff, so... Well, I mean, we told her everything, um, we just kind of cut that part out. Except for the book, right? I think you guys didn't tell her about the book. Yeah, we. I remember you guys saying that you were admitting that. Yeah, we 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 didn't tell her that. Yeah. So. Don't worry, I have the salacious. Although book, she might have figured out because and... we did talk about doing a ritual that maybe she'd realize. Well, how the hell do they know about this ritual? Because I'm a witch. Don't ask any more questions. <laughs> Next question. It was God's grace that brought Dr. Lissandra back. Oh, Jesus. And then she died. And the bag lady that is must out have there also somewhere. Been God's creation. What's sad is I'm religious out of character, and Sister Maria is kind of like driving me insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, it's good. It's it works. It's just funny. Like, it's like gosh, because I hate like there's there's people at my church that are like that. That, that sound like, like that. Constant. Yeah. yeah, that sound like that. It's just like oh my gosh, you guys are over top. So it works perfect because it's exactly like how I see like a like a person that's like over crazy about the faith. This is obviously a characterization. Oh yeah, yeah. It's. It's uh, someone that's kind of got a screw loose that worships a, a deity. <laughs> a screw loose? Okay. I was being generous. Yeah. He <laughs> does have a demon dog at his side. Sister Maria is completely normal. Sister Maria, more so than anyone else dog. in the party, probably should have been in the asylum. <laughs> Well, me now, because I'm super paranoid and I have to deal with this. Yeah. All right, all good. what do you guys do? We follow Where says she's going to the chapel? We follow yeah, her we to follow. the chapel. Do we... Do did we? Did we ask her about the reward? Yeah, we already did. Um, she actually says that she doesn't have anything monetary to give you. Other than, you know, being here, healing you if you need it, and introducing you to Society of Rents and the sleep. Right, I mean, honestly, well, I felt like get a that job, so. she could help you. The fact that she let us, is letting us stay here, as far as Finger is concerned, he's like, that's good enough for me. Like, <laughs> Okay. We'll Hospitality is good. Uh, yeah. And we'll get to work the next... Wait, what? what? it's late in the day, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually late. Maybe, in the day. yeah. It's yeah, evening. We'll, we'll get to work tomorrow. That's why I already told her too. I was like, oh, it's been a long day. I'll get started on things tomorrow. But I mean, I don't All know. Right. Relaxing stroll out to the chapel might not be too bad, I guess. 
So yeah. I guess I'll I'll follow her out to the chapel for now. Yeah, sure. Get my bear. Yeah, we can follow her out there. We can follow her to the chapel. Sure. Okay, There's I have a, place a question. New chapel. Sorry. What was that? Uh. You had a silver sheen, and on my character list, I have a sh silver sheen too. Do we have two at that? When we found them? Maybe. Okay. Wasn't sure if we, like, weren't decided yet, but. Mine is I'll gone keep that now. In mind. You probably want to still hold on to that. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely holding on to it. I'm not gonna. It's useful. Probably not gonna use it. I'm probably gonna sell it. <laughs> Instant silver weapon. Keep it. Don't sell it. Yeah. I have a plan I'm for my sword, I'm probably gonna but... sell the Wand of Command, because that thing is fucking useless. Like... Yeah. DC 11 will save. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can command peons, and... Yay, peons. They have a 50-50 chance to succeed. It's everything Asha would have wanted. Yeah. <laughs> The Sister Maria is the We'll figure Asha. it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. What? You don't want, like, followers? Churchgoer followers? I mean, you could just command people to come to church. Like, command the locals to come to your store. I actually own. feel like Sister Maria has more in common with Asha than maybe you think. It's just that Asha knows she's evil. <laughs> Oh. Both yeah. are very forceful with getting their- Wait, how many charges is on that wand? There's quite a few, like 30 A lot? That's it's potentially like 30, 30 people listening to you give them a lecture. No, but you know what I can do? I can lecture people and I can say, the non-believers? will burn in hellfire and then command them to and then they the can up. make a dc 15 reflex saving throw oh and yes get set on fire your spell are you gonna like silent spell that because yes. onlookers might recognize your casting spells even if you do they'll recognize your casting spells assuming we're using like normal galarian maybe a quickened rules. it's version of it then <laughs> i mean silent or still spells is probably technically technically even a quicken spell they do there's actually like a specific meta magic feat that you can use that'll disguise it so it doesn't look like a spell or that it looks like a different spell uh, let me see if i can find it huh <laughs> well I don't know. I mean, well, yeah. We're headed to the chapel. It could, it could be a way to keep the townsfolk here. from, you know, running at us with pitchforks and torches. If that ever happens, I'm sure they're like, gonna fail a DC 11 command. You shall not pass. I don't know. Sell it, I guess. Yeah, but it's, it's a useless from ultimate one. intrigue. Stylized spell. Stylized spell uh, appears to be has different combatants combatants than normal appears to be mostly different and then if you use a DC spellcraft check it's ten higher than normal and if you get it wrong then you think it's a different spell. But yeah. All right. So as you guys approach the chapel you start to notice something because okay. it gets louder and louder oh and I'll move you guys to another map it's the unicorn oh hell yeah <laughs> last time we saw it was friendly though yeah we yeah. we Helped him. Now it's back, it's mad again. 
It's the bipolar unicorn. Hello, darkness, oh, my old friend. Let's see, where's Winter? Yeah, I... She's coming with you too, apparently. I thought we were coming with Winter. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's. You're going with her. Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh, did I? Oh, it was on this one. That's why. Sorry about that. I meant to do it on this one. Okay. I think it's correct now. Uh, we're on the map map. You guys are over I here? We're still only see one. myself. Only see yourself? Let's see, global illumination. I can see it just fine. Yeah, my vision has been wonky because I can only see myself. The torch situation. <laughs> oh no, there are NPCs. There we go. Now I'm I can see. Those are the people that we saved. There. You guys can see uh, everything immediately around you, right? And there's some black uh, further yeah. away? Yeah. Okay. So, you see a bunch of townspeople that are congregating in front of this uh, other building, like north of the chapel. And they're all, like, visibly angry. They're shouting and jeering. And they're saying things like, we know you did it. Get out here. We don't want you and your graffiti girding up our town. Yeah. See, command these people. One at a time, of course. Hey. Go home. Uh, go home. it works for one round. Command them to go home, and then oh, <laughs> anyway, that yeah, one round. What the fuck? Yeah, another it one yells. Sucks. Come out here, Hassock. Answer for your crimes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up to one of these NPCs and uh, ask them what seems to be the matter. Do you look at you and? Uh -oh. Let's see. We're foreigners. He says, uh, this random guy said, You what? I'm asking, what's the matter? He says, look around. And he, he points to, like, the side of the chapel. And you can see that on the side, there's this, like, kind of dirty, charcoal-y, like, mural of... This like weird looking town or city with like strange buildings and like a really swirly cloudy sky. Uh do I recognize this? Yeah. It, it kinda of seems familiar. familiar. And he says These things have been showing up all over the town. Dirtying up. A beautiful thrush mall. Well, if he confesses to his sins and wishes to repent, the Lord does have mercy on those. He says, we're gonna kick him out of town. Surely you don't, don't need to be that extreme. The Lord is merciful. And this person says, we ain't gonna tolerate this kind of vandalism. I'll ask, what is your name, sir? He says, what do you care? Just wondering. He says, if you want to help, start, start yelling. And have that half elf get his ass out of that studio. 
Are you yelling at him because he's a half elf? We're yelling at him because he's the only artist here in town, and that vandalism didn't start showing up on our walls until he arrived. When did he arrive? And when did the vandalism start? Uh, give me a diplomacy. I have one up earlier. I'll roll another one. Oh, sorry. Let me go check it out. 21? Okay. Don't worry, guys. I have color spray if we need it. Just color spray the mob. The angry mob once they turn on us. That sounds good. I have a feeling this is one of the suit sayers. He tells you that the guy has been here for like about two weeks. Uh huh. Working on the mural in the chapel. But the man also, the disgruntled man also adds that the priestess is gone too. And uh, when these paintings start showing up. He says, about a week ago. Well, two weeks doesn't equal one week. Is there anybody else who's shown up just uh, a week ago? He looks at you and scrunches his face. What are you, what you trying to say? Trying to say that you're jumping to conclusions here. And some other people start to take notice and they come over here to be disgruntled near you guys. And they're saying, well, who's going to clean up these, these dirty murals? Well, does anyone have a way of magically cleaning them? I don't think they have a way to magically clean them. I was more looking at Fingram um, whispers. our group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fingram interprets it as you asking if, like, maybe asking them that. He's like, I don't think they have a way to do that. Okay, do you? No. Don't you, though? Yes, but I say no. <laughs> this, like, this other lady Not in my the problem. crowd uh, that's kind of come over here to, like, discuss and argue with you guys, uh, she, shouts, she shouts, Some folks keep talking about how the Briarstone Witch is coming back for Thrushmore, but I know that he's behind the troubles. And everyone shouts, Yeah! I only see trouble here, right now, and I do not see him here. Just angry townspeople. Look, if he is the one causing the troubles in this city, do you really want to be right next to the most powerful being in the city causing all of the trouble, abducting all of the important people who are probably much better at fighting than you are. They look at you for a moment and they at each other. They seem pretty concerned. And they say, well, well, why don't you do something about them? I will investigate. And someone says, hey, you guys hear that? They're going to take care of them. And they're like, what? They're like, yeah. This guy and the other guys are going to take care of the audit. And they shout, yeah. And they all kind of start migrating away. And they're talking about like, all right, back to our home. Before it gets dark. And they, the angry mob moves away and you guys defuse the situation. I didn't say that I was going to kick him out. I said I was going to investigate him. 
Right. That was you enough, get, a, you, you get them to calm down and go away. They seem more concerned about how it's getting dark. And... Yeah. What was Winder's reaction to all that? Like, she just stood there? And it's like, and she right applauds you guys. That, that was a fantastic job making sure that that angry mob didn't uh, do anything hasty. And she looks at this mural up here, and she says, this is kind of uh, dirty, though, and unsightly. Maybe you should talk to this guy. I don't like this on the side of a church of Faraz. She says, well, you can come with me inside the chapel, or I'll leave you to your own devices if you actually want to do check up on this guy. Kudu looks at the painting a little bit longer, and then she turns to her and says, I can paint something else over it. And she smiles at you, Kudu, and she says, I don't think I've seen you paint too much, but mm, I mean, I'd probably take a lot of other things other than this. Ah. Okay. So I appreciate the effort. Sixteen chapel. This. So are you guys yeah, gonna go to the chapel, or are you guys gonna, or is are you guys gonna go check out um the guy who Mantis said he was gonna maybe talk to? Uh, right. Well, it's not we certain. can go to the chapel first, and then maybe go to that guy next session. I don't know. It's getting okay. So you guys go to inside the chapel. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, you go into the chapel, and there are a lot of the survivors, many if not all of them, that are in here seeking refuge, and the few clergy that are here are also tending to them. And across the, uh, the, the entire chapel, you see an unfinished uh, mural. There's like this vast landscape world. of like swirling, uh, swirling blues and uh, I think yellows, some purples, and you can roll me a knowledge religion, or yeah, Kudu can do craft painting because you are a painter. Um, okay, so for the knowledge religions, uh, it's easy to know that this um, painting in here is quite obvious uh, in the design of Phrasma. These themes and textures and stuff are Phrasman. Uh, Kudu, oh. you also know that, okay, this is supposed to be here and it doesn't look like the mural outside, that this was, mm -hmm. this is something that's actually a work of art. But, Kudu, you start to have this, like, weird recollection in your mind that, like, you actually see yourself painting in here. Huh. She, she's not sure why she's envisioning that. Perhaps she's just hoping that she can finish it or something like that. Um, and Kudu, you have this, like, flash of memory that you signed a watermark somewhere in here. Oh, well then, if we ever, like, pass by it, she'll, like, start looking for that watermark. Okay. Uh, you go to, like, one of the corners in the, the chapel to like where you would think that you like you would start working on this mm -hmm. and sure enough you do you find what you recognize as your watermark she turns around excitedly this is mine but as i said it's unfinished 
there's still a lot of this that needs to be done. Okay. Perhaps the head of this chapel will know more about you. Oh my gosh, you're right, maybe! Uh, unfortunately the clergy will tell you that the priestess has been missing. Oh no. For a while. Mm. Do any of them Perhaps recognize me, or they're her. all new here? Or maybe I didn't work during the hours they were here. One of them says they do. Or one of them looks at you, and if you ask, like, do you remember me? Mm-hmm. And they say, where have you been? A terrible place. Around. They say, why would you abandon this, this work? Oh, I have not abandoned it. And he, like, humps up at you and says, Oh, really? Did not the promises of wealth from the Count not uh, turn you away from working on, on this? Um, I was say, captured. We heard from you was that you were very busy and had to attend to the count. And we were waiting for you to come back for nearly two weeks. Yeah, I was locked up and I just got out today. He has trouble believing you and he turns his nose up to you and walks away and he just says that uh, maybe you'll maybe you'll finish what you started but we already commissioned another to finish she kind of scolds a little bit at that like no has he already started then They say that yes, he has. <laughs> and they show you where he's been working. On the mural. Mm -hmm. And although it looks pretty good, you can tell like where your work begins and ends and where his begins. Mm-hmm. She's a little upset, but she, like, follows the group. And she keeps, like, brushing the robes of Phrasma with her hands. Okay. Does anybody else do anything? Um... Uh, sister notably scowls. <laughs> <laughs> I probably just, like, walk around. How dare and, they wish uh... it were false eyes. Exactly. <laughs> I just probably look around but and hope she that gets maybe... up onto the altar and shouts, "Heathen!" No, no, no. <laughs> maybe something Sister will uh, will jog a memory do for me as well. Like but... that. Um, for you, Pingram, not really. Yeah, this is I didn't all think so. You. Same as with everybody else. Only Kudu. Only Kudu vividly remembers that she was here and she was doing something here. Mm -hmm. And that watermark Sister... is like on my notebook or whatever. So I know should it's be mine. yeah, should give it away. Was for Adeline, was her domains? I forgot. Uh, birth, prophecy, death. Okay, so she's the the life and death person. And she abhors undead. Yeah. I'm guessing my guy is just like finding a spot that's comfortable and he'll like sit down and just wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, 
I think we can end the session here because it's uh, 20 minutes from 10 o'clock. Okay. And I have more prepared, but I can focus a little bit more on uh, preparing some stuff for you guys in the chapel. There's some more things that can, ha can happen. I'm probably just going to move a little bit. But yeah, um, that will be it for tonight. You guys can level up. You are now fourth level. Hooray! And uh, I think you guys will discover, just like Kudu, that now that you're in a city and in Thrushmore, there is much more than just the mysteries presented by the Sleepless Agency to solve. More about who you guys are and what you were doing before being in the asylum. Mm -hmm. There are many opportunities here. And yep, we're Sweet. in book two now, which is very exciting. What level two spells do I want to pick up, guys? <laughs> the ones that do damage. Um, yeah, right? Like Frigid Touch. <laughs> That's Why what most magazines do. Mm -hmm. Staggered is nice. I'm picking up blistering invective. Also, who <laughs> cares what spell you use? You have a plus two weapon. Oh, yeah. Have you guys noticed? I haven't. I don't think I've used shocking grasp this entire campaign so far. That that As I've noticed that, and that's a staple Magus spell. <laughs> yeah, I have it. I just yeah, haven't cast but... it. I mean, Shocking I don't think I. I think I prepared it once and didn't actually cast at it. At level five. Well, sure, it get, does more damage the more you, uh, the more levels you have in it. So, um. At level one and two, it's kind of underwhelming, especially level one. It's basically worse than Chill Touch. At level one. So what's the non-lethal damage cold one that they have? That one's really good. What was that secret? Oh, my class is getting a feature that uh, is potentially open to interpretation due to lack of words. So I wanted to go over it with you and see what I can and cannot do with this. Sure. Okay, so... Here you're talking about Frostbite, probably, is the non-lethal damage. Um, mm -hmm. one second. I don't really get much this level. The nice thing about Frostbite is it, it, get, it makes them fatigued with no save. That's, like, the main part of it that's, that's uh, good about it. I'm waiting for it's my sheet to It's also really good versus fire things. Okay, so this is what it is, so you can read it. That's a level two or a level one spell though as well. There's also a cold kind of cover. There is a cold damage level two spell that's does it doesn't do non lethal though it does. And then once you're done reading it, damage. I have a question um, about it and then we'll see.